It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Let me see if we got any... Uh... It's only, you only got mids. Oh, just mids? Okay, just mids. So we can start. We can start this show. Uh, Let's go. Wax is here. Yeah. Uh, Hezzy is here. Um, Taylor Gang is here. We got Little Latinx over there with the laptop on. <laughs> show the shorts, Alex. You got to show the shorts. <laughs> Show the short. Show the coordination. I'm short. showing it. I'm showing it. <laughs> I don't think we can see you. There you go. Woo. There you go. A little swag or something. Early. A little, little calf meat. You know what I mean? <laughs> little calf meat. Uh, how's everybody this week, man? I'm yes. good. I'm just baffled that Al wanted to show off his shorts this badly. I mean, listen, when you got the coordination going the way he do, Something's you got to do on, it. Something's going on, yo. Got the sneakers. Something's going on. Al much. must have cut a deal with somebody, and they're like, yo, you got to show the shorts on the pod or some shit. Like, because he I never you. said Why to you. Why are you hating? He huh? never said, I'm not hating. I'm trying to put two and two together. No, it's just shit. because you wouldn't, you stopped showing thigh meat, and now you're just jealous because I'm showing that thigh meat. That's, you're not that's no right. Thigh meat. You don't okay. got no Don't you thigh, ever thigh, take thigh. for granted our gay audience. Salute to all the LGBT gay men that watch the idiots. Thank you. Give them something, Alex. Yeah. I'm Alex, not mad at you. Whose legs are skinnier, <laughs> though? Crazy. What do you mean? Is Whose legs are skinnier, Alex's or Schultz? Deontay yo, Wilder. Yo, 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 yo. Don't disrespect, Taylor. Don't be. My legs are, <laughs> my legs are super muscular. My legs That's are super muscular. <laughs> I hey, probably got the most muscular legs on the podcast. Shut nah, I ain't gonna lie. My, my, oh, my leg yeah, I'm game. Over here. I'm, I'm early over here. Oh, <laughs> knock it off, fatty. My oh, leg game. <laughs> listen, my leg game kind of crazy. You only want me to take my shit off. I take it. I take it chill. A couple more up, weeks. I show morning. you, baby. A couple more weeks. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, I, before we even start the podcast, I just want to tell everybody in this room that I love them and I value them too, and man. I appreciate them and I respect y'all <laughs> to the fullest. And I just want y'all to always, always know that. Yes, okay, man. I think y'all know that by my character, though. We love you too. And Thank you know you. what I mean. I just want. I don't know. It. I don't know what's going on today, but <laughs> Al started it weird. You're doing this shit like yeah. something's so happening. Die or something? What's What's in this? Somebody what's in the who's something. wax, bro? That's Yo, what, what did doing? you put in these fucking lemons wax that's <laughs> making everybody act weird today? Can, can you sip it? You need to sip it, man. I, I don't even have the label on there, man. This is what nah, the label bro. is really I just to want be, to tell man. my friends that I love them and I value them and I appreciate them. And the main thing I appreciate about everybody in this room, nobody is a yes man. And everybody oh, knows shit. how to call people on their shit. Oh, when Why? We what's... Well, What's no, just, going I'm, on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm just putting out something for the be people. Scared. Nothing. Yes. When 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 people, um, when you got good people around you and they, and they call you on your shit, I I just appreciate I'll it. I definitely they, tell you if you're wrong. Always. Sure. It does. Don't. No, it, 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 Schultz does it with me. Wax does it with me. That's why I fuck. I, I fuck with Taylor so heavy because, and I've, I've said that years ago. <laughs> she don't bite her tongue. And when, you know, she see you doing Lord something that's so out of character, she going to pull you to the side and let you know that you're doing something that's out of character. Or if she see you treating somebody fucked up, she honestly, gonna, she I, call feel you like, on it. I feel like we're like subbing someone right now, <laughs> no. but I don't know who we're subbing. <laughs> Why do people so, always feel like that? I, I No, this is not a sub to I anyone. I'm just throwing some life lessons out there to people, bro. That's it. Value the people around oh, you. Appreciate the I got people it. around you. I got it now. No, you I got don't. It now. No, I'm you don't. Along. I'm playing along. Don't playing listen along. to li it. don't listen to little Latinx over there. He don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's in my hold on, hold on. I'm playing along. No, I'm playing along now. No, I got it. Okay, okay. I wasn't no. I wasn't sure what the game was. There is now no I know the game. game. Now Show we can do it. Okay. 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 I'm in. It's Dude, no I'm all in. Let's go. Who are we who are we taking shots at? Show the Captain. Uh uh No, it's not. Man, this we is not shots. Like this is not shots. I just appreciate y'all and I Yo. appreciate that y'all check me and that we check each other. That's what real friendship is about. Yes. That's it. Yo. Nothing more, nothing less. Yo. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> Draco. Yo. Who are we taking Draco. shots at, Draco. Draco. <laughs> Draco, soldier. <laughs> Make hey. it clap, 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 hey. clap. Listen, that's we, what we just did. We came out here, we started this podcast with some Draco soldier making clap, clap, clap. 
No, we, we didn't. Keep it moving, yo. I was just paying homage to my friends that I love and I value and I appreciate. I will say though, positively brilliant, positively, uh, what a fucking idiot. I gotta say Soldier Boy is positively brilliant. And we don't give Soldier Boy his flowers enough. I think we have on this podcast because we, we the originators. We, we are. We are. We are. We were giving him his flowers before anybody was giving his flowers. That's when right. everybody was making fun of Soldier, we really understood Business that he was the second, everything. third, fourth coming of God, bro. Jesus, we did. We did. We did. We said Soldier Boy might be Jesus. Nah. We did. Yes, y'all did. We did. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. <laughs> is, it a, back? Is, it, is it a coincidence that Soldier Boy has a hit record after Easter? Hmm. Hmm. That mm. make it that make it clap record didn't start popping until after Easter. Think about it. Hey. The resurrection hey, Wax, of Soldier Boy. Put it Korea. together. Put it together. Draco I Soldier. Know, I didn't even know Easter went already. What? You piece of shit, yeah, you Christian. I know. There's I know literally Sorry. two holidays you got to remember to be a Christian, <laughs> bro. Yeah, two Christmas fucking is. days. Right? Cut up. all this wow. shit out about God and wow. all this other stuff. You don't even know the wow. day he came COVID back. COVID messed everything up. COVID messed no, everything no, up. No, 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 no. That was COVID's no. fault because you no. can't believe in God as much as that's you right. used to. No. That's, right. that's, that's, that's why God took your Achilles. I wasn't going to church like that. It don't matter. How you forget? You don't forget your baby mama birthday? Not your baby mama. Your girl, your fiance. Well, that is your baby mama. Fiance. Your fiance. Your fi I'm sorry. Carla, my bad. Carla, my bad. You don't forget your fiance's birthday. She won't let me. Exactly. And Jesus feel the same way. You can't You're forget right. his birthday and the day he passed. Right. Come on, mm -hmm. man. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, you pay how you, you, nah, you, I just didn't realize it came already. I'm sorry. I, mean, I ain't do a lot of eggs or something. Well, I don't think it's a coincidence that Soldier Boy make him clap popped off after Easter, bro. The resurrection Not of Soldier Boy's career. All right. And and LeBron said the Knicks are, the NBA is better when the Knicks are winning. I feel like hip hop is better when Soldier Boy is winning. Damn it! I'm with you on that. I'm with you yeah, on that case. one. 100. percent He makes the um, game fun, man. He, he makes the game fun. Hey, to it. hey, bro. I'm 100 percent with you, man. And I think I think the podcast game is better when you know podcasts are all together. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're back. We're back together. <laughs> you know yeah. Don't you think? You don't mean? you think the podcast game is better when the podcasts are all back together? You know? Um, sure. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it better yeah, when everybody yeah, knows yeah. their role and they know how to <laughs> shut their mouth now and do what they're told? <laughs> But how do you come back? You got to come back a certain no, way, though. No, isn't, that, isn't that better when you do what you're yeah. told? Do you I don't know, know what y'all talking about. Yeah. I don't know what y'all talking about. I feel like you. Yo, I feel like you. Know you I feel like you hey, you Schultz, I feel like you subbing somebody, but I'm not sure who Grab it is. Grab that Draco again. <laughs> Grab the Draco. Grab the Draco. Yo, hold on, bro. Drake, I'm talking about Caller Daddy. Caller Daddy's coming back. Whoa. Whoa you didn't That's know big. Caller. Oh. Call, That's big. I think they call it Call Him Daddy. I think they ah! I think they switched the Joe Budden podcast to Call Him Daddy. That's and big. I think that's that's the new that's the that's new name big. for the Joe Budden podcast. Big. Call oh him daddy. <laughs> that's big. Yeah. Draco. See, you no, know, Schultz can't help it. Yeah. I can't help so, myself, Sh bro. Schultz wants you to see his face. I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> Schultz will do it without a mask. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> run right up on you. Schultz will run up on you in broad daylight and tell him I said, what was that movie? He was like, tell him it was me. Yeah. What was that movie? What Sorry. movie was he? He was like, I want you to know it was me. Yeah. <laughs> What oh, movie was that? Um, the Honeymooners. No, you're talking about. The honeymooners. I, well, I already know it's on Game of Thrones. That's what she did. Was Game of the girl did it. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was like, yeah. The, mom, the grandma in Game yeah, of Thrones. The grandma <laughs> did it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I want you to know it was me. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's yeah, how I feel, bro. I do feel that way. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Listen, we are very excited to see the Call Him Daddy podcast yeah. is united again. <laughs> you know great. Congratulations. We got the brothers are back together, or the father and the sons are back together, and they've no longer Yo. stopped beefing. I don't and even know what you're talking about. I got to get caught up. I got to get caught up. I gotta Honestly, get caught up. I didn't even know that they were back together until Lil Latin X told me that they were <laughs> during the podcast. <laughs> So okay. That shit is gonna stick now. What? So, Lil Latin yeah. X? You so asked Latin for this. That's you, yeah. bro. You asked and for this. Draco yeah, Soldier, bro. Listen, and your last, your first name ends in an X? You are Little Latin X from now Holy on, brother. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, how well, your first, how the first name ends in X? Yeah, Little Latin That's right. X, bro. Yes. Alex is yeah. Little Latin X from now on. I've, I've <laughs> never like seen it. a man look more Miami than you, Alex. 
Yeah. Like, I don't know if you're Cuban. I don't know here. what you are. I, just, I don't know if you're Cuban, Puerto Rican. I don't know what you are. I just know you in Miami. You are a dark skinned man in Miami, Miami bro. Miami definitely nah. changed you. Yes, man. it Fuck did. That. I'm putting it on show. Show's nah. out here riding around in a fucking G Wagon. So hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. This is what happens fire. when you a partner of the podcast. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Everybody eats. Everybody eats. <laughs> Everybody eats, damn it. Everybody eats. Draco. Right. Oh shit. Soldier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you gotta pull Schultz back. Schultz is really bishop. All we wanted to do was rob the store. I wanted to rob the store. I didn't want to kill nobody. Why you shoot the guy, Schultz? I hear that, that guy in the movie, like when they go do the robbery are, and everybody promises right. there was gonna be no people killed, and I get too hyped. <laughs> And I just shoot the motherfucker. And then you bishop. Yeah. You bishop and Jew. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you watch the Oscar shorts? The only thing that saved the Oscars for me this year was Van's victory. That oh, was yeah. so yeah. fucking, like, shouts to Van Lathan. Salute to Van Lathan. Salute to our guy. Brother. Once again, hey, that's, listen, salute to Van. Salute to Trayvon. Salute to my man, Nick May. I love I love that so much because I watched that from the ground up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was the, it was the yo we're gonna do this film. You know yada yada yada. You want to be involved yeah. like that type of like I saw I saw it from the ground up, and those three deserve everything that they motherfucking got because they earned it. I don't care about the Oscars because I don't care about that yeah, kind I of never validation. Saw it you know, but I'm happy for them. I'm happy because they're happy. Mm -hmm. You know mm. what I mean? And they they really earned it. I mean, damn, we got a friend that's an Oscar winner. I mean, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's crazy, like, bro. It's like for me, I just get inspired. Not like I give a damn about the Oscars, but it's just like, you know what? If we're going to do it and we're going to be in it, we might as well do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Oscar and an Emmy. It's What's two the difference? Different TV and, so and film. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Emmy is TV, Oscars is film, but... I mean, yeah, man, just seeing them from the ground up, you know, build that movie from scratch. But I told them they was going to win the Oscar, though. I you knew they it. was going to win. That's dope. I told them, I told them they was going to win. Number one, the movie is about uh, black trauma. It's about police brutality, right? Have you seen the movie yet? Say what? Have you seen the movie? No, 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 no. Well, there's a scene. <laughs> 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 There's I don't even scene know where, in the where movie. to see it. Where do I watch it? I don't, don't want. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh, it's on wanna, Netflix. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Okay, I don't. I don't, oh, don't want to um, spoil. I don't want to spoil the movie because I want y'all to watch it. It's two distant strangers starring Joey Badass. But there's a scene where it's like it's a black man laying in a pool of blood, but the blood is in the shape of Africa. Oh, yeah, you yeah, not? Yeah. And who's yeah. gonna vote against yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be racist. <laughs> that'd be like, racist. Like who's gonna vote against that? What is it called? Two Distant Strangers. Two Distant Strangers. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that tonight. Starring Joey Badass, but no, for real, it's it's big, man. Just watch, especially watching Van because you know there was a time where everybody was oh the, the black guy from TMZ. Yes, okay, so now he's that I mean? Oscar winner. Now he's the yeah, he's exactly. Oscar winner Van fucking Lathan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just it's, it's just it's just a beautiful beautiful thing to see. And I love yeah. that he was petty, and you know added um added TMZ. She's supposed to holding the Oscar. She's supposed to. Do? What's the point of becoming successful if you can't be petty, bro? Like honestly, you what what is the you. point, dude? It's only right. What is the you, point? I was so well, just, happy when I saw it. Yeah, he just wanted to make sure they saw. That's all. <laughs> it wasn't even no. It wasn't even no no need for no long commentary or uh -huh. or fuck you. It was just like just I just need you to see me. Yeah, That's as if all. they they weren't gonna know. They knew. Oh, they definitely yeah, knew. Yeah. Come on, they, they gotta definitely be still knew. following him. They definitely yeah. knew. Why wouldn't you? But I mean, you know, Van has always been bigger than TMZ. We knew that. We know yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah. it just takes the world a little bit of time to catch up. And, yeah. you know, God's divine planning, planning is always the best. Yo, you think you, know? you think he's going to change, bro? You think he's going he's gonna to go Hollywood on us? Van? Mm. I think because uh, I, I called him. I want him to a little bit. He said, he, he, he said, who's this? I, I call him, he said, who's this to me? And it was I thought it was super offensive because it was FaceTime. The motherfucker was looking right at me. <laughs> and, uh, the mo and he said, who's this? While he, after, after he's holding his Oscar, he not even recognizing me no more, dude. I mean, the guy looks like he might have got uh, some Botox done. He might have got some lip injections. You know what I mean? Maybe he's getting his body done. I think he's changed, bro. I think Van has changed now that he's become so successful. He's an Oscar winner. 
That's I great. don't think I don't think he'll change, but I don't think that I think that you do have to trim the fat. You know what I'm saying? You don't have time for anything and you don't have time for anybody. That's just life, man. Like mm. energy is important. You got to guard your peace. And now it's a bunch of vultures, right? It's a bunch of vultures that want to come around and be a part of that that Oscar glow. You Are you know, calling you, me fat and a vulture? <laughs> <laughs> How could I call you fat and a vulture when you've been down with Van from day one? You know Van as long as I know Van. So why the fuck won't he answer my calls anymore? And he always says that he's uh, hanging at Illuminati parties and sacrificing children and drinking their blood. Well, yeah. I don't know how you act when Show Save America came out. I got to ask him. I said, you might have fronted on him. I don't know. Mm. I'll be honest Did with you. you <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What, when it came out, there was, uh, if I'm being 100% serious, if I'm being 100% serious with you, mm-hmm. I, I refuse to do any interviews. There was only one, <laughs> <laughs> there was only one podcast that I was going to do. Big Rogan. Nope. The Rory and Mall oh. podcast. That was, that was the man, only podcast. <laughs> yeah. You know, the funniest thing is, I really don't give a fuck. We see, we see that. They talk about, it's just fun to troll. It is, man. Fun. No, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I don't, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, me neither, dude. I don't know what I I'm met- talking about. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying attention. But no, salute to Van. I'm happy for Van. And, you know, we're just going to keep it going. I mean, but, but here's the thing. All of us have so many things in the pipeline. You know what I mean? And mm. the beauty of the beauty of what we're building, you know, and I say we because that's how I really look at it. I look at it as, as a collective. Like, I, I, I love what Schultz and, and his unit is doing. You know what I mean? I love what we're doing over here. I love what Van and his guys are doing. You know what I mean? And it's going to be a time when we come together and have some ideas to do shit, you know what I mean, as a collective. I just love, I I love it. I mm. really do. I think that shit is dope. You know what I mean? I just, I, and we've talked about this before. We've talked about like that Rat Pack, that Rat Pack type of vibe. You know 100%. what I mean? 100%. This is the Every, modern day Rat Pack, bro. This is what we're doing. I remember, I remember one time, I'm not going to say who, but I was telling shows, I was like, me, you, Duval, such and such. And he was like, no, 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 not such and such. <laughs> not him. Not, not, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no, no, we're not fucking with him. <laughs> hey, all, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Not everybody invited. Not everybody. And that's my point. That's what I mean when I say any and everybody. But was I right Every- about that, though? Was I right? No, nah, I love the guy. But, I was, guy. but I was right, though. He winning, though. Huh? He's winning on his own accord. I honestly, again, don't know who we're talking about. <laughs> I thought I, 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 don't, I thought it was a girl. To be honest with you. I thought it, the girl. Who's the girl? I don't know. I don't. This is, I don't know. Schultz got his hammer out with the safety off, so I'm not fucking. Talking about it. <laughs> Shoch is just started, Shoch is just start shooting. Hey, Alex hey, and Dwayne, hey, hey. Alex Charlotte. and Dwayne will be editing all night. They ain't got time. Nobody got time for that shit, man. Hey, Charlotte, but just so we're consistent. Fuck yes. whoever you were thinking about too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! What a fucking idiot! Uh, oh, Caitlyn Jenner to run for governor of California. What do you think about that? Voting for her, bro. You voting for her? Hell yeah, Doug. I don't think that she stands a chance in California, only because of her conservative views. Like I don't think how she p- thinks she's going to win California. Okay, do is legalize weed. You think so? That's it. It's already legal there. It's already Wait, legal. It's already legal. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? You <laughs> sell weed for a living and you, you, you don't know so? where it's I legal and where it's not. I got it all the stores out there. Of course I know. But um, yeah, I just think, uh, yeah, I don't think she stands a chance. Only because of her conservative views. But she's trans. I know. And I think that it's, she, I think in a way it's some slight identity politics because she thinks that she probably can get the progress, progressive vote because of that. But her views are so not in line with most people that I know in, in the LGBTQ community. You know what I'm saying? What? Like, she's just, she yeah, has what? some very, yeah. and, and her support of Trump. I don't think that flies in California, bro. Ah. Uh, mm. Now, what is, what is her most conservative view? I don't know. I have not paid her any attention. I just know that she's a Trump supporter. And I saw something the other day where she was like, she doesn't, she doesn't necessarily believe in prison reform. I could be quoting her. Oh wrong. yeah, yeah. Her and Kim are beefing about that. Yeah, yeah. that ain't. That's not gonna fly, bro. None wow. of that's gonna fly in a state like California. You have to go to one of them 
South Midwest states mm. to try to be governor. None of that's gonna fly for you in California. But hey, good luck. Yeah, it'd be wild. if if your son in if your son in law can run for president, I don't see why you can't run for governor of California. Yeah, do your thing. Uh, do your thing. Yeah, and some something like that's gonna help out Gavin, right? And well, I tell you why because it's not like Gavin needs any more light. But when you have a celebrity like Caitlyn running for governor, it'll bring more attention to the race, and it'll bring more uh-huh. attention to. Gavin Newsom, and he's a he's a likable guy when you hear him talk. You know uh, what I mean? he's, he's a charismatic. Yeah, he's a he's a fucking fraud. He is a power hungry fraud like the what rest po- of them. What politician isn't though? They all are. That's the thing yeah, about I, them. Yeah. They're all Agreed. sociopaths. You just gotta hope that their sociopathy lines up with your interests. That's it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm so, that's just what it is. But they're tools. You use them like chess pieces. Uh, you just gotta make sure you got the right that, chess pieces. Literally, that is. It. Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? And I know you've had like sit downs with like like super rich people. The way rich people talk about politicians, like poor middle class, like people, they talk about politicians like with reverence, right? They're like, oh my God, they're the president, they're the mayor, they're the governor. Rich That's people right. talk about politicians like they're the help. That's it. Video game, bro. <laughs> the video got, game. I, I got the yes. controller and I'm moving this motherfucker Literally. around. Yup. I'm Do telling what you. I say. I, yes. Oh, yes, man. bro. Bro, I, I don't, and I'm talking about like, cause, and these are the rich people that donate to their campaigns. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I've mm-hmm. had conversations with those kind of rich people. Andrew is absolutely right. They Literally. talk about them like they're just straight up video the game characters to be moved all around the way they want to move them around. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's, it it's, 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 not, it's nothing emotional about the conversations they're mm-hmm. having. They've donated their campaigns. They told them what they want. They expect them to deliver. That's it. That's it, bro. They say it. That's they're it. like, maybe they go, maybe we'll run him for governor. That's what they'll say. They're not even asking him if he wants to do it. They go, That's yeah, right. maybe we'll run him for governor. That's this right. is what we do with these people. That's it's right. unbelievable. Like, I think that rich people actually treat their staff with more respect than they do the politicians. They know they need them. They, and they and they know the politicians are full of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least with your staff, you know where they stand. Yeah. You know they're honest. Politicians yeah. are full of shit. Mm-hmm. Every like every single one of them on mm-hmm. both sides of the aisle. If this don't show you this now, especially when you look at the Democratic Party, they ran out there and they told us, you know, vote for the Senate. You know, we get control of the Senate. Now who's blocking everything? Two mm-hmm. fucking Democrats. Joe Joe mm-hmm. Manchin and what's the other girl named uh, Kristen Kirsten? What's her name? Um, Cinnabon, cinnamon, something. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> cinnamon. Who, who? You know, okay. what's the woman's name? Look up hold her on, name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Joe Manchin and this other woman who starts with a K, Kirsten, whatever. I respect it. I, I loved what Bakari did the other day at that press conference. But Bakari was like, what's her name? Kristen Cinema. There you Cinema, go. Yeah. There you go. Kristen Cinema. I love Cinema? what Bakari did. Yeah. She sounds cute, she's a, she's, though. She's a senator. <laughs> she's a senator. And I love what Bakari did the other day because at the press conference, he was like, yo, only thing that's going to change what's happening with police and, and, and black people in this country is through policy, policy mm-hmm. and legislation. We need the George Floyd Policing Act mm-hmm. passed. The people that are blocking it. Mm-hmm. He say, call up your Republican senators. But he called those two Democratic senators by name and put out their numbers. Say Joe Manson and Kristen. What's her name? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Is it Christian? Christian. 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 Kristen Cinnamon. Christian Cinnamon. Christian Cinnamon. I respect it. We put, do, do, your, do your job. Do what we paid you to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Um, but you said you didn't watch the Oscars. You said the only thing you liked about it was Van. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Oscars are fucking dead. I mean, the, the ratings, I think, plummeted. Yeah. And granted, it's tricky because yeah. this year, a lot of people didn't know, like, the movies that were out, et cetera. But, uh, but no, I don't care about the Oscars. I don't care about yeah. these fucking idiots going up Never there spouting off about their causes and how much they care about the environment as they fly around the world in their private jets, you know, and like hose down their, you know, 10 acre fucking lawns. And they talk about, oh, my God, we're running out of water. We need to protect the water. Like the the, the virtue signaling <laughs> celebrity, especially the Hollywood actor, is the most annoying type because we don't give a fuck. You all mm-hmm. barely made it through high school. Shut your mouths. Don't tell us anything about how to live. You memorize lines that other people wrote for a living. Sit down. Shut the fuck up. Jump out yeah, of the plane easy. in the action movie. Outside of that, sit in the backyard and keep your mouth shut. You're not doing I mean, listen, I, I I don't mind if they express, you know, their opinions or, you know, what they believe in. I don't, you know, 
They, there's some some things I care about, some things I don't. But you know, they got the platform to do it. The num the numbers were down fifty eight point three percent. I you know the the Hollywood Reporter, I think it was the Hollywood Reporter. They 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 called me and um they were asking me what the Oscars need to do, you know, mm. in order to to like you know get their ratings up. And I I said. You got to meet people where they are. I think that we put too much stock in linear TV nowadays. Like mm. we know that it's a million different ways to watch content. So even when these numbers like this come out, I need to see the total numbers. I need to see linear. I need to see YouTube because it was it was streaming on YouTube as well. I need to see the social media impressions like it's more ways to watch this show. Like, I don't even have to sit through three hours of this shit. I can literally look at my phone on Instagram and watch all the highlights. Yeah. yeah. That's, awesome, That's it. Just show me the highlights. Show me. Yeah. I saw Trayvon's free speech. I actually saw that in real time. I, I, I just randomly caught it. But Daniel Kaula, I saw that. Uh, uh, Daniel Kaluuya. I, I saw that on The Shade Room. You know what I mean? Like, it's different things that I probably would care about that I saw on social media. So mm. it's like, I can't really take stock in the fact that only 10%, I mean, 10 million people watched it on TV. That's the thing. Like, t TV is going to have to figure out another way to make money outside of uh, commercials because yeah. now that we know we don't have to watch them, we ain't going to watch them. I'm That's not going to sit yeah. through three paper towel commercials just to see Daniel Kulea come in and accept wow. an award. I'll just wait till it's reposted on whatever Instagram That's account it. I follow. And Word then up. I don't have to inconvenience myself at all. So if TV doesn't find a way to bake in advertisements or like brought to you by or one of these other things, we're just it's just going to fail. You're just going to lose all viewership. And when you lose all viewership, all the advertisers are going to go, well, why would I advertise on you if no one's watching? Right. That's right. Exactly. Three, three hours and 20 minutes is too long to watch any goddamn thing <laughs> that ain't sports. <laughs> you know Even saying? sports, bro. Even it depends. sports, three hours. You'd be like, come on, like. Come on, dude. What's three you hours know, in sports? A football game? Three Baseball hours? game? Hell yeah. Football games be like three hours. Yeah, but that's a long ass time. I love it, but I like it. Yeah, I ain't even you know realize I mean? it's three hours. At, le at least two and a half. Football games at least two and a half, bro. Hey, man. At least. Hey, yeah, they are 30 two. minutes, bro. <laughs> one quarter, dog. Just make that shit one quarter. <laughs> yeah, Everybody watch goes it all it. out. Fourth quarter. <laughs> I like that. Fast. I love it. I love it. Um, what a fucking idiot, uh, Floyd Mayweather, to me. Why? You know what I mean? Because I don't, yeah. why is he fighting Logan Paul? How he big is Logan? Get the bread. Get the bread, exactly. yo. How big is Collect he? Collect the check. Everybody's, everybody's ready to go no, out no, now. No, no, no. Like, everybody's ready to open her up. <laughs> everybody's ready to go out there into the world. <laughs> open and her gonna up. Be a huge, open her up. Hey, hey, so, we need you on the remix, Charla. Say Shows, what? How, how big is Logan Paul? How big is he? He's six, maybe six two, six three. He's he's he he's very stacked though. He's thirty. He's um and he's athletic. He's but the thing about fighting Floyd Mayweather, and I told him this, is like the guy is the best defensive boxer in history. You, if you you're not gonna hit him when all these other people couldn't hit him, he's like, gonna make him look stupid. Exactly. Unless, unless, unless Floyd has lost like a so I mean, he it would he have to have lost several steps. Uh, yeah. Several. He had about the steps. All the steps. About getting hit. Oh about getting God. Hit. Let's. By the way, let's keep it on. Let's let's never forget. Wax said Logan Paul is going to beat Floyd Mayweather. He said that on I this podcast. That. I said that. I said I want to see how his weight is. Where his weight is. Where one ninety. Floyd can come in up to one sixty, and Logan can come in up to one ninety. And then Floyd's going to embarrass Logan Paul. Yeah, I mean, it will go a few rounds, and I think that he knocks him. I think he knocks him down with body shots. I don't even think he does head something. shots. I think it's just body shot, body shot, body shot. Right. He's going to tire see. him out. I, I don't think Wax understands how good of a defensive fighter Floyd Mayweather is. I'm not taking nothing away from Floyd, but I understand what weight does. And Logan fighting. won't touch him. But wait, you think what Logan? If he do touch him? He's not. Just how Jake's going to touch you. That's right. Ooh. Oh, this yeah. <laughs> Listen. Oh, wow. Young Liberty. Happen. Young Liberty shooting from the Listen. hip. <laughs> All they got to do is make it happen. It's light for me. I ain't even worrying about it. What I'm trying to tell him is 30 pounds is really something. He's not going to touch That's cool. Floyd Mayweather. If he don't, Floyd wins. If he do touch Floyd, I don't think Floyd can handle that. He's not touching Floyd. Because guess what? Floyd is not used to being hit, right? So when I, he do get hit, he don't know how to handle that. No, I talked to uh, Jake, by the way, about you fighting him, and uh, mm -hmm. he said that he didn't want to do it because he would feel bad potentially taking a father away from his children. <laughs> well, tell, tell him I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. 
because my kids definitely need me. I appreciate that. Wow. That's a, yeah. that's a good, wow. good way of thinking. <laughs> Big Jake Paul. I take that. Wow. Thank you. I uh, love Jake having that attitude. That's he's a great looking attitude. out for you, you know? He's looking <laughs> out for you. Word up. Word up. I like that attitude. Because, though, for real, like, I not, wish, not I that wish, he's me. I wish cops felt like that when they saw Big Black Men. <laughs> of course. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Jake Paul. They need to adopt that. <laughs> <laughs> I like Jake. Yes, but I ain't worrying about that. That's something I ain't worrying about. Just y'all think about 30 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And somebody who's not used to getting hit. Yeah. When you get hit, you ain't gonna know how to react. I agree, we but he's not all the time though. He's he not touching Floyd though. Here's nah, the thing right. though. You're assuming that Logan hits like a 190 pound boxer does. Mm. Logan is an, an, a really good athlete, like much better than normal athletes. So let, let me not Hand-eye consider him a regular person. Sense. Hand-eye, hand-eye coordination yes. makes a lot of sense. No question. His cardio will be on point, et cetera. But there's a difference between someone who's been boxing since they're like eight years old and the balance that they have and their ability to generate Still. power behind a punch. Like if he just winds up with some big looping punch, I'm sure Logan can really hurt Floyd. But Floyd's going to be giving him angles. Floyd's going to be doing He's not going to be able to just load up. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he's been boxing for three years, if he can generate that type of concussive power Mm-mm. in an instant. I, I just, it is something that takes forever, it. man. It's like, if you uh, even that's, look that's, at that's why That's why you're supposed to bait them in and put them in a place to where now you're supposed to load up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, if, if, if he's Floyd if, uh, I, Mayweather I hear you, Jr. but athlete is an athlete, hand-eye coordination. I've seen it a lot. Who has it better than Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're acting like him. Floyd isn't an athlete. Floyd <laughs> exactly. is the greatest athlete I'm not of taking all time. away from Floyd. I'm just looking at 30 pounds. If this guy was wearing the same thing as Floyd, as Floyd, I believe would destroy him. Pick him up, do all that type of stuff. Floyd would definitely be in shape over the guy and everything, but I just know what 30 pounds do. There is nothing, there's there is nothing Logan Paul could do in the ring that Floyd couldn't read. Yo, listen, I seen nothing. This, listen, nothing. even in football, it got a running back. He's so shifty, so dope. If a linebacker 30 pounds more rock his ass, he's gonna slow the fuck down. Wax, there's nothing Logan Paul could bring in that ring that Floyd has not seen in his you saying Floyd 30, don't get hit, 25 though. plus year career of boxing. Do You're Floyd talking about yes. a high school high school linebacker <laughs> going up against Barry Sanders. Yes. <laughs> like I don't understand what you don't get about this. It doesn't matter how good the high school linebacker is. He's going up against Barry fucking That's right. Sanders. That's I right. That. That's right. And I listen. I ain't taking no re- nothing away from him. Just watch the fight. When is this fight? June fifth or sixth. Yeah, I think it's like June sixth in Miami, baby. The world's you, coming through Miami, baby. Do you? I'll be in Miami next week. Do you remember how bad Floyd embarrassed Canelo Alvarez? Son, it's, Canelo Alvarez was undefeated. By the way, Canelo's probably pound for pound the best boxer in boxing right now. He was undefeated when he fought Floyd. His only loss is to Floyd. Mm-hmm. He was young. Floyd made him look like an amateur. He couldn't Bro. touch Floyd. What was the weights? Like what? One at shit. They said Canelo actually came in at like 180. Yeah, that Canelo came in super fucking heavy yeah. for the fight. I was there at that fight live. And dude, really? they, like the crowd was like 70% Mexican and they were quiet like fucking immigration was inside the <laughs> arena, dude. Not a single peek out of them as Floyd was dodging every uh, single punch. Yeah. It was unbelievable, dude. <laughs> It was unbelievable. I've seen the best of them. I've seen the best of them that ha- happen. I watched that fight. Actually, so far, that's so I remember that fight verb- so vividly because I watched it at Irv Gotti's house <laughs> in Saddle River, New Jersey. Yeah. And I remember Debbie Dev, Debbie Brown texting me saying, You was with me? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Debbie Brown texted me saying, I think Floyd's going to lose tonight. And I was uh, like, No. Nah. Come on, come on. <laughs> I was like, Nah. Come on. No, he's not. And he embarrassed Canelo. But the reason the reason uh, I, I put it in the what a F an idiot category, and I mean, of course, Floyd Mayweather is not an idiot. We know this guy knows how to make money. Nobody's made more money in boxing than him. But I'm still a stern believer in legacy. Does everything got to be about money, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I think it does when you get to a certain <laughs> point. I do. Like, I think you got to get to a certain point and then it's like, oh, wow, I could make 20 million. I could make 30 million. Like, yeah, I can make this bad. much money. In- I would rather. But what, but what if he get hit, hit knocked out, though? He's not. I mean, stop. He's uh, not. Oh, uh, man. Nate Robinson did. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm just saying. Right? Anything. Nate, no, but Nate Robinson How was known comparing- to be dunking on, on everybody. What that got to do known- about basketball? Exactly. <laughs> his whole legacy is done now. He don't, they don't even know. But you know why? You know why? You know why his legacy is done? Because as Snoop Dogg says, you can't play boxing. 
So he went in that ring with no boxing experience, playing around with somebody who got boxing experience, and he got laid out. Same thing going to happen to Logan Paul. I don't know if Logan gets knocked out, but I know he gets embarrassed. I know Floyd going to be, if, unless Floyd has lost, when I say several, I'm talking about several steps. Logan Paul doesn't stand a chance. We all know this. I've seen some amazing running backs who get hit by a linebacker, and he's not that fast no more. You sound like all the ones that want to see Floyd, like. I don't want to see nobody lose. I want to, I'm telling y'all facts. I you know what you sound like? He ran a 4-4. This he is ran a 4-4, got hit, and now he ran a 4-6. He going to slow is... down. He ain't used to getting hit. Yeah. You know what you sound like? This is what you sound like. You sound like like the white guys when uh, sports were just getting integrated. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, and they're like you know. trying to convince their friends. They're like, yeah, and there's no way those black guys are going to be able to do it. Come on. <laughs> That's what you sound like right now. Like That's what you're true. saying is just so absurd. It's just so absurd. It doesn't yeah, matter. No, it, 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 it is absurd. Man. It's absurd. Yeah. It is absurd. It's very. It's, it. it's very absurd. He's he's Floyd money man. Floyd is literally the greatest defensive fighter of all time. Muscle memory will. Floyd could go in that fight off muscle memory and win, bro. I hear it. Like there's literally nothing. There's no combinations. No. I love to see Floyd nothing. Win. Logan can throw that that Floyd see hasn't seen. I promise. I'd love to see him win. But thirty pounds. No man, I just love legacy, bro. Like I, here, here's the thing: nobody shows you don't do nothing for no reason. You don't do things for money. You're meticulous about the things that you do. Now, if Floyd needs the money, sure. If he's just that type of guy who money motivates him, and it's an extra fifty million dollars to grab on the table, hey, go do your thing. You've earned the right to do that. But my point is, what has Logan Paul done to be in the ring with Floyd Mayweather? I'd rather see Floyd do an exhibition fight against Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya yeah. wants to come back. He wants some action. Yeah, like y'all like, go do that. I think right now we just want the carnival. You know, like I, I think I think you just like what what Logan has is people care about him. They care about yeah. his journey. They care about who he is. They listen to his podcast. They watch his videos. Like they're deeply invested in who he is in a human being. And yeah. it's fun to watch somebody that you're invested in fight. And that's why they made the 24-7 series that we all loved. Remember those 24-7 documentaries before the fight came out? You didn't even know who these people were. And then you watch the 24-7 series and you're like, oh, shit, I really like this guy. He trains really yeah. hard. He drinks his own piss. He came from humble beginnings. Like, this is yeah, awesome. Tyson. Let's watch it. Yeah, my Tyson so still. I think if, if, if you're designing boxing events, I'm going to design them around fans. I'm going to go, okay, the fans are obsessed with this person. So they're going to follow that person into the highest stakes thing activity they could possibly do which is a human cockfight essentially right yeah like you were just yeah. fighting not to the death but to as close as possible you know yeah and uh i think that's what it is like if people didn't care about logan there's no way they would have this fight but they do care about him so, so floyd and oscar wouldn't generate the numbers that a logan floyd yeah, fight people don't care about oscar will. anymore man i think what if he wears the dress to the ring what if, if he, he wears, wears the, the fucking dress fish to the ring <laughs> to the ring high yeah. heels 100 percent, 100 percent. that i would watch 1000 percent. yes yeah damn man it's it's, it's it's i don't know it, i would say it sucks that it's come to this but yes. it's not it's not like floyd is on hard times you know what I'm saying? So he's yeah. doing it because he clearly wants to do it. I just feel like, man, you're Floyd Mayweather. I just don't know if, yeah. I don't know if I want to see you in the carnival. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I don't want to see, I don't know if I want to see you in the carnival. I feel like. You don't have to play boxing. You don't have to play boxing. You really a boxer, bro. You, you're the man. You're the yeah. guy. Let somebody people, else do that. People earn the right to be in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. Why? Because yeah. it's a big ass payday. So yep. if you're if you get the chance to stick the, the the stand across from Floyd Mayweather, it means that you've at least done something to where he thinks you're a formidable opponent in boxing enough to at least get you that big payday. What has Logan Paul done to deserve it? It's not like, like why is this world in boxing down? No, no, I don't think so. Wait, Who's what? your better fighter, Jake or Logan? Oh no, yeah, I don't think it's water in boxing down. If anything, it's creating some interest. Boxing is boring right now, dude. Like. And the reason it's boring is because uh -huh. boxers aren't marketing their personalities. You need us to like you. I'll be honest. That's one thing the UFC does really well is the UFC might not pay as much as boxers do, but they're taking some of the money that they're making and they invest it back into marketing those fighters. So now yeah. we know who these fighters are. They create platforms for these fighters to talk on. They're constantly interviewing. They're constantly making sure that they got personalities that are out there in the world. And then yeah. when they fight, we're like, oh, I want to see how that guy's fighting. Boxers, half these motherfuckers don't even know how to use their Instagram. Or talk. <laughs> yeah, So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah. you got, if you want to do this for a living, you got to understand what it takes. 
You know, yeah. you got to understand the new game. Like the game yeah. has changed now. The same thing with comedy. You know, yeah. it's like the comedy. If if you're a young comic growing up, you got to follow the blueprint, right? Now you got to follow the shit that we created, we put out there. You got to be able to put out your own clips. You got to be able to put out, build your YouTube. You got to be able to do all these things because that's the new fucking game, bro. Yeah. And if you don't want to do I it, mean, then you don't want it bad enough. And there's some great fighters out there. So to your point is absolutely accurate because there's some amazing fighters out there. Mm -hmm. They just don't know how to sell their fights. It's literally like back in the day with WWE. Yeah. Like the ultimate warrior was a star, but he couldn't talk. Bill Goldberg was a star, but he couldn't talk. He didn't have no mic game. You know what I mean? Stone Cold Steve Austin had a mic game. Dwayne The Rock Johnson had a mic game. Ric Flair had a mic game. Mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan had a mic game. Ma Macho Man Randy Savage, they had mic games. You got to know how to sell yourself. You got to know how to sell boxing. And you got to know how to sell these fights. Because yeah. sadly... Broner did, though, but he just couldn't back it up. Broner definitely did. Uh, Broner, Broner could was amazing. Fight. Oh, my God. Yeah. If, if Broner could he box... He backed it up. He'd yeah. be, he's, he's so perfect for this generation. He really is. He's the, so, he's the social he media guy. Mm -hmm. He fucks around. He Hip hop lo hip hop loves him. He's so into the culture. Like, he would be so perfect. He'd be the perfect bad guy for this era. Literally. If he, you know, backed it up in the ring. He really just can't. Like, yeah, it's, it it's such a bummer because... What they would do with, I think, wrestlers back in the day who didn't have any mic game, they would give them like a manager who was nice with the mic. Yeah. And then they would talk all the shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost like, yo, yeah. Adrian Broner, like, why don't you train somebody? Even if you're not the head trainer, you'll drum up all the interest for the fight. Talk all the shit. Do everything that your boring ass fighter won't do or can't do, but at least yeah. get us all interested and invested. I think that'd well, be he, fire. He, he, he need to get some fall fights. He needed like five fall fights and get him back in there, but stay on social media and still act like that. He get mm. back on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and AB got fighters. Robert Easter is AB's fighter. AB got his own promotion company, but you know, Robert. He, he's 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 a decent fighter, you know what I mean? But he's not fantastic, you mm -hmm. know? But mm -hmm. whatever. I just, you know, God bless him. Y'all y'all tell me about it. I'm not ordering it. I'll watch it on social media. Yeah, I see it on I'm, I'm ordering you know it. What I'm, I'm watching I'm it. Not, really? I'm not. I'm not. I, I, I realized I wasn't when I didn't order the, I, the Jake Paul fight. I had no fear of missing out. I felt no FOMO. People was texting me like, this is great. And yeah. I went to Trilla and I saw, I said, $49.99 for Jake Paul? <laughs> Fuck no. Hey, I'm not doing it. And I'm not doing it for Floyd and goddamn um, Logan Paul either. Who's older, Logan or Jake? Logan. Logan's older. Logan's older. Who's a better fighter? Andrew? Um, I think, I think Jake is better. Mm. I think Jake okay. is better. Okay. Now, yeah. I think that Logan has faced stiffer competition, but uh, really? I think uh, I think Jake is I think Jake is better. Yeah. Hold on, this van right here. Hold on one second. Okay. Hold on, Hold on. hey van, we on the podcast, so yeah. don't don't say nothing crazy. Oh, what up? Hi y'all. Congratulations. Oh. We just finished congratulating you too. Congratulations, my oh, brother. Appreciate that, man. Can you hear him, Shows? I can hear him. But I don't know if he can hear me. Yeah, can you hear Schultz? No. Yeah, I can, I can hear him a little bit. He said you can hear you a little bit. He said ask he think him, that you're going to switch up on him. Ask him why he changed and why he, he uh, shut how, how would I switch up? If anybody was going to switch up, the biggest name in comedy was going to be the one that was going to switch Ooh. up. Ben, hey, man. Oh. Tell, him I tell him I said this. Tell him I said this. Two wrongs don't make a right. Schultz <laughs> <laughs> said two wrongs don't make a right. Just because he went Hollywood don't mean you should go Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, 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 man, I just want I want to tell you the same thing I told Wax and I told Andrew and I told Taylor, man, I, I love you and I value you and I appreciate you. And, you know, I, I, I thank God that you're not a yes man, you know, who can, who can check me and, and pull me on my shit when I'm on some bullshit. You know, what I mean, we need more people like that. If you don't ha you don't have a real friend circle if your friends aren't doing that for you. I appreciate that. And that's how you know that people, you know. That they respect each other. That's right. We've all had disagreements. We get through those disagreements. That's right. You know, we we we, we keep it close to the vest and, and, we, and we move on. But it's and because we, we respect each other. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. We re, uh, as men. That's important. That's you know right. You know what I mean? As, as men. And just like I respect Wax enough to let him know. That if he ever step in the ring with Jake Paul, he gonna get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah, boy. But listen, uh, Van, Van, yeah, Van. Uh, you know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Van is also somebody know that know what time it is. <laughs> and the reality is, I love Wax too much. 
to see him go out like a supersized Nate Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> so my, just, bro, my brother, you already know what time it is. So you telling me that Jake Paul can whip your ass? I'm telling you that I'll be in the gym with Jake. Listen, to, and, wait, 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 skip real uh, fast. So you telling me that Jake Paul can whip your ass? Like, like, let me finish. Because you seem very, very emotional. Go ahead. I'm going to let you talk. I, I, I can do this. I'm going to let you talk. Go ahead. Go so ahead. I, 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 at, at Bill Polina Boxing up in Woodland Hills, I be in the gym with Jake. When I say I be in the gym with Jake, I mean Perfect. in the gym. Watching Jake spar pro. Okay. Watch, if you have not been trained. Bro. You are going to go in there and get embarrassed by that kid because yeah. he is boxing for real. His cardio is up. Right. His reflexes and muscle memory are there. All right. That's if right. Y'all, if y'all out on the street, wax, you got him. Not right, but listen to me. Do you think this man could beat you? Um. How the hell you um? How the hell you um? And you know I beat the shit out of you. How the fuck could you um in a boxing ring? Wax. I, I, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in a boxing ring. You won't even last. How long you think you'll last with me, bro? Wax. I'll I'll pick you apart. You ain't got no when. Party. Wow. Yo, listen. Like, Don't you know? For the last two years, I've been asking Van to get into the boxing ring with his ass, and he know what time lying. it is. Yo, Van. That's how many times I came to LA? I come to LA all You're the time. Lying. Okay. Yo, yo, I'm sorry. Right, so guys, yo, man. Guys, guys, I have to put a stop to this. You, I don't want you to win an Emmy and then get beat up by it's an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got our I'm next sorry. Brilliant Idiots exhibition match. We haven't had one since Schultz versus Jay Williams. Oh. <laughs> I'm with all of it. Oh. Nice. I'll tell, nice. tell, tell you one Talk thing, Talk to me. Though. If you keep talking your shit, he will fight you. Listen, and I'm trying to tell you, he will get beat up. <laughs> I, I, it's just as well as every single one of y'all know exactly what time it is. I don't believe I'm it. I believe Jake well, Paul wins God and wins easily. Y'all. Listen, you, you don't think that if I, somebody try to challenge me, of course we have time. I would definitely train. If I get back in there, y'all already know exactly what time it is. I'll be no, very no, no, focused no, no, on no, everything no, no, I need. No, 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 Go no, ahead. Wait, 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 Talk wait. to me. I did tell, I did tell Charlemagne, I said, if Wax... Actually trains boxing. I'm talking about wax off the street in the ring with Jake Paul. Yeah, I mean, yeah, listen, that's conditioning. In the ring, a wax off the street in the ring with Jake Paul. No, but he, if you train for it, I think you beat him. I think you did. For, 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 for sure. And just like I was telling them, like just like Charlotte said earlier, don't go play boxing. If I'm going to go do it, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I ain't going to sit there and play. You would have nobody. to train. If, but of course. If you don't train, he's going to knock you out. You're going to be in the middle Last of the ring with, with the state of New Jersey and blood around you. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, that's what actually got you out of Oscar, too. That, I told him that. Yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> hey, I'm going to call you after we're done. All right, man. All right, please. Blaze. Um, I, I got to say, Wax, if you go in the ring with Jake, I think he's gonna make you hold his pocket, bro. Oh my god! I think he's gonna make you hold his pocket, bro. I think that. I think that might happen. Didn't we just now talk about friends telling each other the truth? He's telling you the truth. Everybody in this room this is, is telling a you the whole truth. Lie, and, and I know. And it. guess what? If you win, we are gonna say we was wrong. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy we could be wrong, bro. We could be wrong. wrong. We are we are the type of friends that can admit when we're wrong. Okay, and we're not gonna try to gaslight our friends and manipulate our friends because I'm y'all really my friends. So if if you get if you win, I'm gonna be like, damn, my bad. Whatever Wax, manipulate I me. shouldn't have doubted <laughs> That's you. That's bullshit. I shouldn't. I should have believed in you. You, yeah. Yeah. you see how mad we should have. <laughs> because it's unbelievable. Why does your nose flare up when you get upset? Because I'm trying to. I, I don't get it. <laughs> What Yo. are you talking about? Are you y'all serious? <laughs> no, we're being serious, bro. We are, bro. All right. You know what? We are, bro. I'm going to train like I got to fight anyway. <laughs> there you go. Run? You should. That's if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Period. Because Jake Paul might be like, let's fight right now. You got two weeks to get ready. And I, I got to get ready. So I'm going to get ready now. All so right. you start let's, getting let's... ready now. I think that's a great idea. Yes. I still think that if you fight Jake Paul, you will most likely be out of the protection business. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I think I, listen. My whole I, life would be over if I if I lose, I die. Oh, oh yeah, listen. Yeah. Every every yeah. single person you done gave a wedgie to. Oh, everybody, to every collect. person you done put doodle they in their sneakers. Every guy you done pistol whip. Yeah. Every girl heart you done broke. <laughs> they will be so happy <laughs> to see you face down, ass up in the ring. 
I guarantee they will. I got <laughs> guarantee would love that it. Will. That'd face be so amazing. That'd be so amazing. What you if, face down ass up? If, if, <laughs> listen, listen. If that if that was to happen, that'd be really really funny, and a lot of people actually probably will laugh. But that's not gonna happen. What if everybody start throwing lemons at you in the ring when you get knocked out? They better be drinking that shit so they can fall asleep. So they all have mercy. <laughs> fall, fall asleep so you don't remember this shit. Let's pay it's some bills. It's crazy how we're glossing over the fact that Van just said he could beat Wax. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Van said he'd pick you apart, bro. You know pick why Van says that? Apart. I, I, I tell you why. Because Van trains. There Van you go. Be in the, Van trains all the time. That's his That's his workout. He's a He trains. And he knows he can't do nothing with me. Wax, I think that you are underestimating people that are prepared and trained I'm versus those who aren't. I'm trying to tell you, you are, re you're, listen, you're underestimating a fucking monster. But you're not paying attention. <laughs> you're really not paying attention. That's your fault. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I ain't want to talk about it. No I'm going to be know honest with you. Yo, <laughs> his, st his stomach, is... his stomach, nah, his stomach. Nah, 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 nah. We, don't re we don't take him serious no more because of his stomach, nah, bro. Can I tell you something, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Schultz? This is how... This is how J Japan used to do Godzilla. Like, Japanese people be like, yo, Godzilla's trash. Like, he's just an alligator. Like, he can't do nothing. Like, why are we even scared of that motherfucker? And then Godzilla, every once in a while, would come around, start fucking shit up. So you put some respect on his name, bro. Well, and that's well. what I don't want to do. I'm like, damn, you know what? Have it been a while since y'all understood what time it is. And I don't want nobody to try me. Just stay out the way. That's street fighting, though. No, 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 street no, fighting. no, 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 no. I'm going to show y'all. Just hopefully nobody won't come up and box. Street fighting, undefeated. I got my money on, Wax. What you in mean, the street ring? fighting, even though if I... <laughs> Yo, Wax, um, in the so ring, swing? Like, what's most, up? Like, likely, I, most likely in the ring... You're taking a nap in the first yeah, round, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. You yo, fight yo, Jake. Yo, yo. Just make sure that when you fight Jake from, uh, you know, Jake yo, Paul, son. that you got that you got Jake from State, State Farm's uh, <laughs> phone number, because you're gonna need some goddamn insurance, bro. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. All right. I'll let's, take it. Let's pay some bills, man. Upstart, uh, salute to Upstart. Are you carrying a credit card balance month after month? You're not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over a half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners, okay? With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. I loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash idiots. This uh, episode is also brought to you by keeping your fucking hair on your head. Yes. Okay? It is possible. Going bald is a choice, and you can make the choice not to be bald. You do it right now. I'm telling you, prevention is the best method. I've been on this for over a decade, and as you can see, I still got my luscious locks. So the best thing you can possibly do for yourself if you're a dude is keep your hair, and you're going to do that with Keeps. Okay? Keeps, I'm telling you, is the one more than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. Okay? And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps provides both. You're getting it all. It's going to take care of you. I'm telling you, okay? You can loosen the grip on your wallet because it's cheap. It's almost nothing. Low-cost treatments start just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions, okay? On top of discreet packaging, no one has to know. Proven results, discreet packaging, Keeps has more five-star views than any of its competitors. Remember, prevention is key. Get in it early. If you notice it going even a little bit, stop it right now. You might even grow some back. That's what happened with me. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. Remember, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. Go there right now and let's get back to the show. All right, you want to do some church announcements? Yes, sir. What you got, Schultz? What church announcements you got? Uh, church announcements. Uh, we're on tour, baby. Uh, big announcement coming uh, next week or two weeks. 
uh, about that. Um, but also you can go get some tickets that are remaining to my shows right now. The Um, coming to bunch of cities, go to the Andrew shows right now, probably come to yours. A lot of these are already sold out. Uh, I keep telling y'all just get it early. The second I drop, just do it. They sell out within a couple weeks and then there's nothing I can do. So I can't add any more of those shows because we're only there for two days. So go get them now. Okay. If you're thinking about coming. You just go get that shit. Now, uh, the shows.com. Go check it out. What you I got? Charlotte? Wax, oh, well, Wax, what you got? Your lemonade, of course. Yes, I got my lemonade, man. A lot of people have been ordering my lemonades, but a certain thing that they don't know they got to do, they have to sit there and put this pen right here inside of here to open it up. Because a lot of people have been taking this off. That's not how you work this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're not supposed to take it off? off? No, you ain't supposed to take it off. You're supposed to have the pen and just put this pen straight down into it. I didn't know that. I've been taking mine off and drinking it straight out the bottle. I got a pen right there. You got a pen, you put it straight down into it. Easy on it, though. I didn't know that. Man, you screw this, that. This shit gonna be big in the summer. How come I can't oh, yes. Yeah, all cookouts and everything like that. You can even order it online right now at whoswax.net. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead and open this up, and um, it's probably the best t- tasting lemonade. I see y'all, y'all got some over there right now. Alex, how, how, how do it taste? I like it. I Alex like it. Will it be sleeping. Good. I had it yesterday. Look, <laughs> little little Latinx will be sleeping 30 minutes. It oh, definitely yeah. going to put you to sleep. Great it's go. one of the best things you can ever taste for real. And it's going to put you to sleep. The best sleeps you ever had. Any anxiety. Your girl got anxiety and stuff like that. Or even guys. Guys ain't got anxiety too. Or it's like call yes, something Yes, I different. got anxiety. I get oh. anxiety. I Yo, that shit is mad guy. pussy, bro. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> a guy got anxiety like what the fuck right. you mean you that's the 90s bro I know. I know. yo first of all wax is full you of shit why, listen by the way what? wax has been going to therapy yeah yo my shorty yeah. we supposed to that's right and, he, and wax has been talking to me about his anxiety he just he's just finding the language for what it is that he's feeling uh fear so, scared of rats <laughs> yes how? No, that is a oh, how? Is? That, 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 well, that's a phobia. You got a phobia. You need. You actually got to probably go under for that's, that. That's the P word. <laughs> What's, What's that? The P. Word? The P, um, P phobia. phobia. Yeah. What did you think phobia started with? Not with a P. This guy. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Yes, yeah, crazy. Damn, All right, damn. All right, no doubt that word. Then. You said it was the P word. Yeah, but the PTS thing that you be doing. Oh, PTSD. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You got PTSD. <laughs> That's uh, post-traumatic stress. Yeah, yeah. It's also on May 9th, I'll be in Miami. Y'all still going to be in, in Miami on May 9th. Oh, I you got to pull up, Wax. Come on. Yeah, I'll be there from the 8th and the 9th. Uh, TK got a, uh, another show out there, the Improv. I'll be sponsoring his shows out there. He got two shows out there. So we be back out there around that time. And we got, of course, the Bully and the Beast that listen to us on Wednesdays, right, T. Diddy? Yep. Yes. Oh, but going um, Mondays for a Patreon to get new content. Yes. Word. And, um, yo, keep checking out all the podcasts on the Black Effect Podcast Network. Uh, yep. Go to blackeffect.com. You know what I'm saying? The website is up. Uh, we got the app coming soon. And all the shows are, are, are right there on the blackeffect.com. So whether it's, you know, Erica Alexander and Whitney Dow, we talk the Big back. Payback Reparations Podcast, whether it's AJ and Tanban, We Talk Back, whether it's Just Hilarious, Carefully Reckless, which is killing um, you know, Gangster Chronicles, Glasses Malone, whoever it is, they all are available on uh, BlackEffect.com. Okay, and please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do it. Please. please. Listen, don't we it. are. Let me see how many days away we <laughs> are. Yes, By the time this book comes out, black people gonna be equal. By the time this book comes out, I thought it was yesterday. We are thirty. 13 days away okay. from the release Don't do of Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. You're about to start seeing Tamika I'm all over the it. place. Uh, make sure you check her out on the Tamron Hall Show. Uh, I'm pretty sure that comes out tomorrow. I think she'll be on the Tamron Hall Show on Friday. This, yeah, tomorrow. So make sure you check her out. Uh, you can pre-order the book now, but we're 13 days away, baby, from oh. Tamika Mallory, How to State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built, <laughs> so being in bookstores. The first release from Black Privilege Publishing, my book in print. Okay? Oh. So make sure you go <laughs> check that out, baby. All right? That's what you do when you... Not only are friends with a person, but you know, when you're in business with a person. I saw Rick Ross say that shit. Rick Ross said, if you ain't repping my shit every single day, he said, not, he said, not sometime. He said, once a day is unacceptable to me. And that's how I feel. 
If you partner with me, you in business with me, I'm I'm, and, uh, I'm promoting your shit like it's my own. Because that's how I feel. I be so happy for my people. I be rooting for my people so hard when I see my people doing good things. Promote your shit like it's their own. Okay, we're we're, uh, we're rooting for it too. We just want the fucking thing to come out already. You've been promoting <laughs> Thirteen days, baby. It. I'm gonna actually buy a book. This will be my first book I ever bought in my life. Oh, buy really? it for what? I'm buying, buying it. it just oh, to just, put it up. I'm about to get a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Just put a bookshelf. Just start buying books. <laughs> yeah. Yo, um, can we talk about? Oh, can we talk about man. the return of the goat? Can we talk about Ooh. that? Can we have that conversation? The most entertaining the man on the internet. The, the prince the of pan Africanism. The prince of pan Africanism, bro. I, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Mr. Donations. I'm talking about Mr. For Good. Can we talk about the return to the breakfast club? We got the scrambled eggs. Hold the bacon. <laughs> talk to me. His fifth time. Fifth time. His, his fifth man. time. Need Five man. star general. Need a man. That's right. Doctor, we don't know of what, Umar Dr. Johnson. Dr. Umar Johnson. He's a doctor of uh, psychology. He's a doctor just like that book is out. <laughs> nah, he's a doctor. He's yeah, really, he's, 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 he's really certified. He is. No, That's been not. proven though. I looked Man, it up. He ain't certified, but it don't matter. It don't matter at all. Let's talk about it. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, really not. he's not. He's not. I've done it's it all. Been, and it makes it even proven. more entertaining. He is. I mean, like, I there's thought no he was certification for him whatsoever. I've looked it all up, <laughs> but it's okay. It makes it even better. Hey, well, he Dr. Dr. Dre in it. He what? Dr. Dre. He don't got a doctorate. He don't? Taylor. That was the worst ad lib. That by far what? was one of the worst ad libs. Dr. Dre? <laughs> yeah. What? I'm saying how Dr. Dre. Some of our most successful whatever. doctors are not actually real doctors. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Dre, <laughs> Dr. Seuss, exactly. Dr. Mark Johnson. Don't let not being a doctor stop you from being a doctor. So Dr. let's Doobie talk Hauser. about it. Yeah. Dr. Listen, Umar is back. He's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite entertainers. He's and the best. He yes, came he through spitting. Bars again, Bars. coming right after Naomi Osaka. Yeah, he was wrong about that though. What he wait? What was he wrong about? Um, well, he because you she can't rep Haiti. She can't rep Haiti because it's just not possible. I think it's you have to rep the place where you were either born or have citizenship in. So I forgot where she was born, but I know I read an article where she denounced her U.S. citizenship in order to represent. Japan a couple years ago. I could be saying that wrong, but I also, and Van actually told me this, her 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 mom and dad met at a school in Haiti and that school in Haiti, they still fun now. So, and, and plus just, I don't, I don't watch tennis. I don't know anything about tennis. I always see Naomi uh, being psychologically black as uh, Dr. Umar said. She's always standing up for black issues, always standing up for black causes. She identifies as a black woman. She has a black boyfriend. So he was he was, he was was wrong about that. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. Well, <laughs> what else? What else did he say? Everything like, give me else. some other hot shit that he came through with. What about the interracial I mean, marriage or interracial dating? I just, I, I you find that. I, what? You got oh, yeah, this oh yeah, you got the snow bunny slippers. <laughs> Wait, what's that? I, what's that? I, you know, it, I, I'm glad you brought that up because, um, you know, I don't care who you choose to love. You know what I mean? Even though I do love black love, I love seeing, I love seeing black families together. You know what I'm saying? I love seeing a black, you know, father with a black mother having black kids. I do. I love that. Mm. Um, but I think that Dr. Umar said out loud what I think a lot of communities say amongst each other. Like, we can't act like that's not a thing. We can't act like, you know, Asians don't, they don't like to mix things. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the D D Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, they don't like to necessarily mix things. Nope. Right? So, like, they, 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 Wax's girl hated him. I mean, his, her family yeah. hated Wax. Yeah. The Dominican. Mm. But I'm just saying. <laughs> well, listen, well, every, all the races, anybody in the house I went to, the father did not like me. Like, this motherfucker period. was stumbling and threw that shit right on wax. <laughs> <laughs> you saw him do that shit, bro. Uh, uh, dude, everybody, they don't go outside of here. They don't like wax. The man is a racist. Hey, you saw me? So, you saw me? I was losing my handle. Pass the ball. All right, give it back. I got my handle back. Give me back. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but I'm not, am I lying? Nah, nah, you're not. Especially if I like Asian girls and stuff like yeah. they follow them. Like, what the fuck are you doing with this guy? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. They may not say it out loud. Oh, I need to talk to you, young lady, in, a, in the kitchen. That's out loud. Yeah, and 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 and, and Dr. Umar's reasoning for it, I believe him when and when he says it's not coming from a place of bigotry. He says it's about business. 
And the it's way he breaks it business. down, it's about that's business. what he said. He said, it's, he, said it's a, he said marriage is an economic contract. Bro, whatever yeah. he says, he's right. <laughs> he's a doctor. Hey, I mean, he's it a depends. doctor, bro. I'm you, not a doctor. Gotta, yes. I can't tell him he's not right. He's a doctor of that shit. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel when you listen to Alex Jones? So entertaining, it's mind-boggling. So entertaining, <laughs> it's mind-boggling. That's it. Oh, I love it. You know me. I'm a huge fan. And and does and, and Alex Alex I listen to Alex Jones. Alex says some things that are enlightening sometimes. Yo, you know Alex what I mean? Jones, and, and, go go. Alex Jones no, is eighty percent right about everything, and twenty percent of the time he's really wrong. But eighty percent, he'll say some crazy shit. He'll be like, "Yo, they're doing experiments to like mix human beings and monkeys," and then, and then people later, be like, and You're later crazy. on in life, later on in life, a few years later, you be like, "Guess what they're doing? They're doing experiments on monkeys." I saw in Florida they're releasing twelve thousand genetically modified mosquitoes mm -hmm. for what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like why? Are they, they said they, they said they control the insect population. So yes, it's some. And by the way, it's some things Alex Jones says that I've read in Behold the Pale Horse. So they're not even that crazy to me because I've read these things before. If you read Behold yep. the Pale Horse, you know Alex Jones has read Behold the Pale Horse a couple of times. So you know. I, and, and, and Dr. Umar is one of those people who I, I feel like he has a following. I really do think he really cares about black people. He really cares about the yeah, liberation of black people. And, you know, he, he, he has people's ear. And I think it's certain things that he says that needs to be said. I think what he said about Joe Biden and the CBC needed to be said. Yes. I think that needed to be said. I think that, that especially that day, because if I look at that day, I'm just talking about that day when it came out, the interview came out on Monday. That day... He wasn't the only person talking about legislation and policy, Dr. Umar. Bakari Sellers was on CNN talking about legislation and policy. Tedlin Figaro was talking about legislation and policy. Like the legislation and policy, K Karen Bass was talking about the George Floyd Police Act and how we get it passed and she's not settling for no executive orders. And yada, yada. Like all of that was on Monday. Mm. So I, f I feel like the universe don't make no mistakes. I feel like yeah. that conversation needed to be had and needed to be started. And, and, and Dr. Umar didn't start it, but he damn sure put a loud goddamn yeah. spark to it. Yeah. Very entertaining. He's very entertaining. I, I enjoyed it. Yes. Oh, he's, he's, he's amazing. You know, what's really funny is that like, he's so, he's like a guilty pleasure. I think of a lot of people like, cause I had friends that told me that they watched certain parts of the interview <laughs> and I'm like, you even know who he, how do you know who he is? And they'll just be like, they'll literally they'll just be like, yeah, dude, the guy's fucking hilarious. Like, I just love watching it, and it's just yeah. amazing. So, hey, the the power of TikTok too, though. Why TikTok he, blew Doc, TikTok blew Doctor Umar the fuck up oh, because yeah. those kids, those kids be online yeah. making videos of Doctor Umar. I asked him about that. I asked him how does he feel being like you know one of the the, the internet's biggest sensations. And Doctor Umar said he likes it because it's clearly helped to to, to make his brand bigger. Yes, right. But he hates it because he feels like, you know, it, it could be diluting his message. Mm -hmm. Like it's a joke. You know what I mean? He don't want to be a joke. He wants to be taken serious. And, mm -hmm. I, and I really think that, you know, those kids doing those videos on TikTok did blow him up uh, uh, more. Even though he already had a, like a, a base on social media, that TikTok following took him to a different level, man. Like did, you, when, when, did you ask him about any of his like most famous quotes, like the the four good one? Because that one I laughed at the for four a good, good one? straight. Remember the one who's like, uh, some of these little motherfuckers got to go for good. <laughs> oh, no, I I forgot, that. forgot about that. <laughs> you know, now, <laughs> you know, we got to clean up our neighborhoods and start with some of these little motherfuckers on the corner. Some of them going under the dirt for oh, good. good. I do remember that. I do remember that. <laughs> Listen, do you know Dr. Umar did like, the interviews are like 1.4 million views. He did like 700,000 views in 12 hours. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. When like they see we, him coming, they gone. It was, it was, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like, and, and it's, it just shows you the power of the internet. Like, it's, it's that's literally the power of the internet. Dr. Umar is a brother that's been around for a long time. He's been putting out books for a long time. He's been raising donations for the school for a long time. <laughs> so, and and so, before, so. Be, way before, I mean, before a breakfast club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's literally a person who's used social media to build who he is. He's used the platform of, of the YouTubes and the Instagrams to build who he is. I think that's incredible. Yeah, dope. I really do. I think it's incredible. I think it's just a testament to like, he's like, he's like academics in a lot of ways. He is because that's his platform. He runs like cer certain people 
run those circuits. You ever seen a man? You, you've read the book American Gods? No, but you you've see, talked you, about this a lot. I, I saw the TV show. The TV show is on stars now. But mm. yo, they there are people. There's a guy character on there named Internet Boy. There are people who literally run the internet. Mm. That's their platform. Mm. They have a base that is their go to. It's not like you know you with a podcast or us with a podcast or with a radio show or TV. It's just, that is their platform, and they run that shit. So anything else they get on top of that foundation is super gravy. Mm. <laughs> like, like it's super gravy. They are literally the three little pigs, but they are the people building their house on bricks because mm. they have a solid foundation. That shit is not straw. That shit is not sticks. That shit is brick. That's it. That, you should have Dr. Umar on Flagrant too. I would love to. I oh would love to. Oh my God, that to. would be amazing. Wow. <laughs> Can we hook that up? I would yeah. love to. Yeah. Dr. Uma on Flagrant 2 would be, I think it'd be great. Tell that me you got a black so fiance. Funny. What we really need to do <laughs> is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, tell me you got a black fiance. Yes. Oh, yeah, like, we're, we're going to do that. Just see that. <laughs> what we, really need tell them. Them. we need to have Alex Jones and Dr. Umar on the same show. Yo! We need to make the internet explode. Alex yes. Jones, Dr. Bro. Umar together. If you want to get computers pewing, <laughs> that's how you motherfucking do it. If you want to get the internet netting, how can we make this happen? Yo, let's do it. Let me make a couple phone calls. You make a couple phone calls. Let's shut shit down. Bro, that would be incredible. <laughs> we all take the week off that week. <laughs> and just we, we use our feeds and put that podcast out. <laughs> on our respective feeds. Yeah. Dr. Umar Johnson, Alex Jones, enjoy. What's his Yo, name? What, if, his name? Yeah, what if we Alex get Jones. them in a the room together and they just become best fucking friends immediately? <laughs> I, you know what's so interesting? I think what? they would. I think they yeah. would have a lot in common. Yeah. I do. I really do. I think that because Alex, if you listen, Alex, Alex is different. I, I mean, maybe I listen to a lot of Alex. I don't, I haven't listened to every stance Alex has. Alex don't come off as a bigot to me. No, he's not at all. Like, at all. I don't hear it. I could he's be wrong. Not. So, so please, don't, guys, don't tweet me and send me clips. I haven't <laughs> listened to every crazy. Alex Jones broadcast. I don't know. I think he says a lot of wild, crazy shit. But his <laughs> critique is mostly towards the government and these shadow governments and these powers that be that are oppressing all of us. Yes. You know what I mean? I I don't know. I could be wrong. I've heard him talk about reparations and what he thinks reparations should be. He believes in reparations. He, th he has an idea of where reparations should come from. Is he shares the same views as somebody like Robert Smith, that it should come from the corporations who benefited from slavery. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, it would be interesting to hear them together. Yeah, I sure. would. I think we might have to set something up, Charla. We might yeah. have to. Let's, let's, let's get into some uh, shit you won't care about next week. Did you see what Steve Harvey said? This is very interesting. This could, might could even be a deep dive. Steve Harvey on men and women not being able to be friends. Did you hear this? What did he say? Yeah. You should let him hear it, Taylor. Can you hear? Oh it? no, no. Like I don't How have do any I female friends. Like he said that, I right? Can't. Yeah. How do you let him? I can't. Can let you him hear? It? Alex, can you pull it up for him so Schultz can have one him to hear it? I. You, you, he'll be able to hear it. He? Yeah. You just want to. You just want to share. You just want to tell it to me. No, because I don't want to. I don't want to. I, 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 I don't want to misquote him. I'll um, send the link in the text. Remember in the classic movie when Harry met Sally and the character played by Billy Crystal insisted men and women can't be friends? You hear that? Well, yes. hugely popular syndicated radio and talk show host Steve Harvey. So where did this come from? I mean, it's a blessing, true enough. But really, it was just me sitting down being honest. I t all of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm I'm incapable of that. Why? Uh, what do you mean? Well, because you know. Because <coughs> you have a wife. Well, I have a wife, and I don't I don't really have female friends because look. Okay, let's get rid of this myth <laughs> I right here. Know why. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, "Yeah, I'm. We're friends." No, that's not true. He's your friend <laughs> only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. 
We remain mm-hmm. your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. <laughs> because we're God. Think this way? Uh, 99.9% of us think that way. Yeah. But he's only talking about a woman girls. and just blows her back. No, I have male he friends. Blows her what? You have male friends because they know it can be nothing else. Try to give him some pussy. I tell no. you what, all your male friends, just ask them in a friendly way. If if I wanted to date you, would you be okay with that? Probably not date. Probably smash. No. no. Yeah. I. I uh, what do you think, Charla? I love I love I love Steve Harvey. That's my guy. Um, I disagree with him. I think that is a very young way of thinking. I think that's a very immature way of thinking. I think that when you know I was a child, you know, that was my mindset. You know what I mean? Because you know you always heard, oh, you got to be friends before you can be lovers. So you know you might befriend some women. And in the back of your mind, you're thinking like, I'm going to smash. But I think that even when you get older, and it's not even, now I take that back. Even when I'm younger, it's just women you want to sleep with. And there's mm-hmm. some women that you just know y'all cool. Like I, my whole life, I've had nothing. I've had more women friends than guy friends. I like being around women. You know why? Because my dad would always say, why do you want to be around a bunch of hard legs? You be around hard a bunch legs. of guys all the time. All you're going to do is end up getting in trouble. So when mm-hmm. that started happening to me, I'm like, oh, my pops is right. And... When it comes to just like people gravitating towards you, if you're the guy that's with five or six women, everybody wants to know what's up with you. Everybody wants to gravitate towards you because you got the women. Even when I used to throw parties and stuff, I want more girls in the party than I do guys. That's why you let ladies in free before 11 or you give ladies two drinks for the price of one. Whatever it is, you do things that have women around. So I've always loved to be around more women than Guys, so for me, it's like it's never been a thing for me to have a bunch of women friends. I got a bunch of women friends now, but it's women that some women in my life I've seen and I'm like, oh, I know I want to sleep with her. There's some women I've seen and the energy is just, nah, that's just the homie. That's that my person sister. That person be your friend. Now, that person that you will sit there, she might be cool as hell, but you might look at her and be like, damn, I want to smash her. She cannot be your friend. That's what Steve is saying. Yeah, but even, even, even with yeah. girls, right? There's girls that I've slept with and I shouldn't have. I'm like, damn, I fucked yeah. the friendship. Now we back cool now, but we could never be cool. Like we going to hang out. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come to the house. You know what I mean? You're going to. Nah, you overstep the boundary. But exactly. We go on vacation with the family. Like, I can't do that type of stuff with them. You know mm. what I mean? But uh, it's like, I no, I got plenty of home. I got so many sister friends that it's ridiculous. Yeah, mm. but Steve was saying, look what he said at the end. He said, listen, if one of them girls sit there, she said, try your guy. See, see I'm going to give you some pussy and see what the guy say. That guy might jump on it. Damn, man. I don't feel, I mean, I, listen, I got a bunch of girls I call my sisters, a bunch of women I call my nieces. All right, let me try. I don't feel that way. Oh. I Alex, really don't. You want to um, give this a try? <laughs> what are we talking about here? What'd you say, Alex? What? You don't like no. black girls. No, what is, what'd you say? What'd you say, Alex? I can't hear you, Alex. I can hear him. No, nah, what is she talking about? <laughs> I said I'm trying. I give Alex a better opportunity. <laughs> Alex, would you fuck Weezy if Weezy tried to fuck you? Never. There we go. He's like, lying. Never. I swear to God. Yo, I swear to my mother. Why is he lying? Yo, I don't believe it. No, I believe him. No. Me, me, I genuinely believe him. Why? You know what? He, probably, he probably got like a sisterhood. To, you, you, you grow that. You grow to like somebody be a sister. You be like, you want to protect her more than you want to have sex with yep. her. Yeah. That's Maybe it. The first so, time. But is that because Here's never, something though. Maybe he's Here, here's something though. Let's, let's have this. I don't think that Steve hit this part. And I think this is a little bit easier for guys to digest, which is like. Talk to me. I think we should like, I think all of us should be able to have uh, female friends. Like, I think that's a hundred percent. I think yes. we all do have female friends. And I think that completely works. Be unattractive. Now that being said, my girl don't need male friends. The fuck you need oh male friends? For? Not one. Why you need Why? A male friends? Why? Why? Why do you I, I'm your male friend. I'm, a, I'm you. your male friend. I'm Why you for need you. other? You gonna hang out with some dude who's also straight? If you, she can have gay straight friends. Why are you hanging out with just straight dudes for some reason? That's weird. Okay. Right? Well, well, listen. Yes. What if? What if? What if the girls? What if the guy was her friend before she exactly. met you? Then that's before stops. you came in the picture. Mm-hmm. That stops now. 
<laughs> no. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Do what are you, what are you talking about? For? What, what do you need it for, yo? What are you talking about? Are y'all going to talk about us having sex? Are y'all no, going to talk about us talk doing about... things? No, we could talk about other shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying you can't have like work friends or colleagues and that shit, but you're not about to go to brunch with a motherfucker. You're not about to say, no, nah. I'm busy today. I'm going to brunch with Todd. Nah. Well, think Why about though? like, listen, a lot of my, and a lot of I'm my, going. a lot of my sister friends, they have boyfriends, but I've, I've been around. I've been here. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, they got 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 like that's my well, brother. What's y'all insecurity? Y'all think like. I'll take it. What's your, no, what's the insecurity with your girl having... I mean, I just he's trying to fuck to my lie. girl. Yeah, the what? girls used to lie and say they was only going out to brunch or only going to yoga class and they was meeting me around the corner. So I just... Yes, that it is, is my... But you weren't, that, girl. you weren't that girl's friend, exactly. though. You were that girl's yeah. fuck buddy. Exactly. You weren't that girl's brother. Exactly. I understand that. What but... girl did you fuck that used to call you brother? Jesus. So, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Your friends were AJ, right? So you're not going to go to lunch with her? Yeah, and that's that's different. That's no, like it's sisters. not. That's, that's like, what we're that's saying. Different. That's family, that's, for real. That's family. You gotta look at it. That's family. That's what I'm saying. Family. You gotta look at it like that. Yeah, but how he's saying it, but. But so, but, but am, I, am I girl going to be okay with it? No, just because it's another girl. That's not right, But though. that's not that's exactly. Not right. That's Listen, not okay. Well, I'm the same way. So if she's telling me, like, yo, I'm about to go out with a dude and go to lunch. Yo, you can have acquaintances. But what if you can have acquaintances, but not like. Not like friend. Like, you're not going to make an... Also, okay, let's say you're grandfathered in. That's fine. You're not going to make that's a new it. friend. You're going to make that, a new I'm friend? I'm with you. That's what the different. fuck no, is that about? No, hey, no, I'm no friend. Nah, I'm no, no, no friend. friend. I'm with it's you. funny. What do you do for you to make him a new friend? Yeah. I'm with you. But that's my point. People that are grandfathered in, you got to respect that. All right, fine. Come we can on. respect grandfathered Slow in. Slow down, though. But I still need to know, like, I need to know the history of that relationship. I need you to know his intentions. Yeah. I need to know what's yeah. going on because I'm not going to let my girl walk into the fire. She could be a booby trap. <laughs> All day. Just waiting for us to argue. That's right. Now, let me ask you a question, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Whit oh. Whitney Cummins tries to throw that box at you. Yeah. Do you take it? No. Why? Because I'm fiancé. I love my fiancé. Yeah, I, I don't want to okay. have sex so, with Whitney. So, so if you didn't have a fiancé, but because I see Whitney calls you her brother. Whitney said, that's my brother, Andrew Schultz. Yes. I see her say that's, it all that's the, the time. Sis. Salute yes. to Whitney, by the way. Yes. Do you take that box without a fiancé? No, no, because I've been friends with Whitney before I had a, a girl, and I didn't do anything back then. That's my point. And guess what? I bet you would invite Whitney to the house with your girl. Yes, I would invite Whitney to the house with a girl. I would even go out to lunch with Whitney, hang That's out right. with Whitney. That's totally fine. I right. can I have do that some shit. That I can do that. I That's have right. some I could do that too, but it's some that you just can't do that and your girl not going to lie. She's going to look at the girl and be like, right. nah, she's not going. Yeah, but also, we know friends. guys lie. But like, we know guys will say anything. A motherfucker will pretend he's gay half near just so he could be near your girl so he could Thank try you, to Shucks. fuck. So why do you so, think girls not going to lie? He's like, well, that's my brother. We never messed around. They did. Say what? <laughs> Can I tell y'all a secret? Ouch. You know how my... <laughs> <laughs> you know how my girl used to catch me? How? Because she said to me one day, she said, you have, uh, you have certain women in your life that I know you've known for a long time, but I've never met them. Ooh. Yeah. Everybody else I've known for a long time. My sister's friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. They come around. She know they grandfathered in. So like, yeah. I've been with my girl since 98. So she know them. They like, got friends. It don't matter who. At least you're Renee. Exactly. Yeah. And, yes. and in some cases, they're closer with my wife yeah. than me. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like Leisha Renee was our neighbor. Like, that's, they super tight. Like, I'm just they saying. all for her before you. In a heartbeat. Yes. In a, and when I say in a heartbeat, let me be out and there's too many girls. I've, that's happened. Mm -hmm. We in LA. You gotta go. Wifey ain't with me. Too many girls in my face. Uh, excuse me, Alicia Renee tapping. Excuse yeah, me, do you know he's go. married? Yes. You know literally. what I mean? <laughs> Tiffany Haddish coming tapping. Uh, excuse me, you know he's married. That type of shit happens. Yeah. Haters. Okay? <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I didn't even think about the fact that you have never met anybody I'm fucking. Of course you wouldn't. Of course not. But you know that they, you know these people who have been around yeah. for a long time. We tell on ourselves and don't even know it. Yeah, but that'd be disrespectful if you introduce her to the people you were fucking. Yeah, that's like a up. whole nother level of disrespect. I yeah. mean, disrespect. Because if a girl do that to me, that's I'm really leaving you. Right? right? Like, you can't what be introducing it? your wife to the girls you fucking. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. it is disrespectful, but I mean, sneaking around is cheating. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I don't mean, double down. Don't, don't ever, I would never double down. Either. I would never do that. But you hey, man. 
They don't let them, don't let them see each I'm other. With they don't let them meet, nothing. I'm with you. Also, you know? also, I'll say this. There's another level of disrespect if it's like the opposite sex is hating on you to your girl. Like, if it's one thing if your girl's girlfriends are going like, I don't like that he does this, this, that, the other, da, da, That's da. Cool. But like Respect some that. dude who's straight as well is telling your girl, nah, he's not right for you. That's a fight. I'm beating the shit out of him. Yeah, That's a exactly. fight. So let's avoid yeah. that. Get out the way. And plus, I'm older. Like, like you've done that. What has he done? I told I've what? talked to you about some stuff, and you'll tell me. He's like, grandfathered nah, in. But, but, but exactly. Am I trying to smash? Oh. I'm not trying to do nothing. Okay. That's These grandfathered guys are telling in. You that right. They try to smash. Right, right. I don't know. Maybe I've been, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my faithful black maleness. And I saw people on YouTube because we was having this conversation on Breath Club. And they was like, Charlie, man, you've cheated before. Yada, yada. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> that has nothing to do with nothing. What the, like, I don't even know why they randomly threw that out there. Like, yes, I have sister friends. Those are women that I've met in my life who, me and them, that's my yeah. partner. Like, I just knew that's going to be my, that's my peoples. Yeah. And that's my homie. And then there's other people in my life that I met that I, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I want to hit. So that's my mindset. My mindset is that. Oh, mm -hmm. automatically. Oh, I'm, I'm, I want to hit. Or it's just a connection. That's the, by the way, it's very arrogant for men to just be looking at a girl and be like, oh, I'm going to fuck that. How you know? Exactly. That's or, not or, or, arrogant. He might, he, might, he, might, he might say, I want to. That, you know, I, want to. I want to is different than I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. These dudes be like, I'm, I'm going to hit that. You, How you, you know? You'll know if, she, if, she, if she I fuck you, you want to say, I'm going to fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Before you be like, yeah, I want to fuck. And then she, I fuck you, act like she want to give you some rhythm. You be like, oh yeah, I'm going to fuck that. And I think we all know the difference, right? Even if it's a beautiful woman. Even if it's a beautiful woman, you know the difference between you and a person connecting on an energetic level, a spiritual level, an emotional level, sure. as opposed to connecting on the... Sexual level. Yeah, we going to end up doing something. Mm -hmm. I think we all know that. Sure. So I don't it's, it's, it's still some people you be like, ah, just let me stay away. You like, know what I'm saying? I don't feel that way. Yeah, I mean... Back in the day, I just, you know, certain people, I just like, ah, if she tried me, I'm, I'm being in trouble, but I'm happy she's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck away from me. Stay, keep it this if we can. Yeah. And thank Charlotte, God we did. Can you have a sister wife that you used to fuck, but you no longer fuck anymore? Yeah, can you? Can I have that? A what? sister wife. Like, a sister homegirl, I mean, like. Sister friend. Sister friend. Like, I don't think, I don't want to hang around with any dude that smashed my girl, and I don't think my girl wants to hang around with any girl nah, that I smashed. I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do yeah. that at all. I wouldn't do that, though. No way. You got to be, like, fucked up or some shit like that, but I definitely never bring nobody around. That's, like, ultimate Damn. disrespect. And by the way, I say, I say that all the time. I, I, I've, I've said that. I, I've said that to, like, maybe wax to somebody, but it's like, damn, I wish I never slept with her. You know what I'm saying? I say that all the time. Because I'm like, it's like, she, like, I wish she was just, like, a partner, so like she cool. was cool, like yeah. you know what I mean, like for no reason. Because to y'all point, I can't just I can't just reach out and you know bounce some things off her or whatever it is or get her feedback on something because no. that is disrespectful. Because you wouldn't want your woman communicating with a guy that she used to fucking. You can't. Neither, none of us can explain that. Nope. You just what sitting you there looking stupid. <sighs> yeah, you gotta get hit, smacked, everything. Like just take it. And you I can't think even if you explain just it. I think if you fucked though, and it and it, there was no emotion behind it, it was just like a fun little the situation, and then it stopped, and everybody's cool. Like I don't think you need to tell your significant other about that if you guys aren't mm -hmm. close, still, close with that I person. Agree. Just, like, just still don't let them meet. Just stay out the way. And you probably already got caught. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Girls me, know a whole lot more than let me we ask know. Question: Because y'all was talking about grandfathered in, in y'all group. What is you know he's grandfathered in nah, the guy? No. Nope. No. <laughs> See no. why? Cut it out, yo. That's Taylor, awesome. cut it out, yo. Andrew, cut what that you shit met? out. <laughs> you need to I got cut it. that shit out. What if you met her at like a friend's event, no. right? <laughs> no. I gotta, I, it, I gotta do a show to. Oh, I, I gotta, I gotta quiz him. I gotta yeah. know what's happening. What's happening? You ever Captain? seen her naked? Is y'all ever like? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Ever flirted? That's what you're gonna say at a friend's event. Gotta figure out what's I going on. Y'all not dating? No, no, no. Y'all not dating yet. That's what I'm saying. You met her there. And then y'all end up getting acquainted to everything else. You meet all her friends and stuff. And then y'all end up dating. Y'all still guys, you and, know her already. And guys, don't ever walk up to if your grandfather in and you know your your your, your homegirl gets the new dude, don't ever go up to that dude and be like, hey man, you know, we ain't never fucking nothing. We ain't never <laughs> like what would the they do that? Exactly. <laughs> That's my <laughs> point. That's why I just told him don't do it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because some dudes be reading the situation wrong because of their own insecurity. So they think that this is something the guy is thinking about. Mm. So they go up to the guy and they tell the guy like, "A drunk nigga." Did yeah, that shit. I, you know, I, yeah, it's my homie. That's like my sister, bro. Like, you we know used what to sleep in the same bed together, Stupid but we ain't shit. Fuck. Yeah, like dumb shit. 
Like what? Like no. Like okay, I'm only smashing her for now on. That's it. That's not okay. my shorty. Wait. So what? What's the answer? You answer to what? Question. What happened? I mean, there's no answer. I guess it's different strokes for different folks. I mean, personally, I have a lot of sister friends, but my sister friends are all. Friends with my wife. Like I said earlier, some of them yeah. are, are closer to my wife than, yes. than me in a that's lot of cases. That's how you got to do it. You that's it. Make sure she's cool and well, with them. That's it. For waxing shows, what a, do you mind if your girl hugs another guy, like one of their friends? It's all, it's all like... Yeah, like you we, can like you, socialize like a human being. Yeah, but take it easy. Just, you don't okay. need to be like going out on dates with one of your friends. All right. Yeah, so that's all. I'm, all right. I'm get everything. Let's do some, uh, like let's do some Ask an Idiot. Let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. What Y'all not get? done with um other stuff. I think we are. How much? Y'all didn't care about the Kim K and Van Jones. You had a you Van had a Jones good, and Kim I'm K. Not, yeah. Kim K. I don't even know if that's true. I know, but you had a good um joke with it. Who wins? Kanye or Van Oh, who wins in a fight between yeah. Van Jones and Kanye? Yeezy, baby. Yeah, all day. I, 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 I thought I had to don't think Van about Jones it. Jones wear glasses? Easy out here yeah. Like black. yeah. <laughs> what? Who wins? Who wins in a fight shows Van Jones or Kanye West? Van. Van. Without a, no. I mean, without a doubt, Van. You oh. think so? One hundred percent. Yeah, I don't think he's fat. Easy's fat. He's short. Like, he, yeah, there's, he's not winning any fight. There's, there's no way. Damn. There's no way. Hey, hey, by the way, I love Kanye West sneakers. By the way, you see, I'm wearing the seven hundreds right now. Are those Kanye, Kanye sneakers? Yes, these are Kanye. Let me tell you something about Kanye West sneakers. <laughs> yeah. Because I get a lot of Yeezys, right? Yeezys and Pumas are my favorite sneakers. Salute to Yeezy. Yeezy sends me a lot of sneakers, right? Puma sends me a lot of sneakers too, though. But Kanye sneakers always look weird when you see him in a picture. Mm-hmm. And then you see him in person and then you like, that shit is kind of dope. Mm-hmm. And then when you wear them, this is where Kanye is killing a lot of people. It's the same reason I wear Pumas. They mm-hmm. look good. I'm 42, bro. I get mm-hmm. my corns shaved on my left pinky toe and right pinky toe once a year. I need to be comfortable. These shit are so fucking comfortable. Yeah. That's where Yeezy wins. Yeezy wins because when you see him in a picture, they don't look all crazy. They be like, eh. But then when you see him in clo- up in person, you're like, that shit kind of dope. And then when you put mm. him on, mm. whoa, whoa, yeah. cool whoa. Protectors. Oh, my God, man. Like, I'm wiggling my toes in this shit. This shit, feel, this shit really feel <laughs> like I got on sandals. And what's weird about it <laughs> is I've tried the Yeezy slides. The Yeezy slides ain't comfortable. Really? They look hard. They hard as fuck. Yeah. They're not yeah. comfortable, but the sneakers they look cool. Look I like the slides. Man, man, comfortability. Comfortability. All right, uh, let's do Tyrese Shaves, new girl, pubic hair. Yeah. That's just weird. I don't know. Tyrese is. Tyrese. Y'all want to do that for your girl? Like when she was pregnant, she, y'all didn't shave her? Nah, yeah, I would shave my girl. You did? But I wouldn't shave my new girl who I just got with, you know. Was and, she and, pregnant? And, no. I'm not shaving my girl's pubic hair. Fuck no. I'm not shaving my girl's pubic hair. Why? Does she have not have arms? <laughs> I mean, if, if she needs you, that's what I'm saying. If she needs you, yeah, but you don't. Why would she why need would she me to do that? Doing? What happened exactly. to her that she can't shave her own pubic hair? Like, just shave because your own pubic hair. I don't know. Yeah. Like, with Tyrese, you know he likes clout. Yeah, certain girl, um, Yeah, I mean, the thing about the Tyrese that. thing that's so interesting is Tyrese just got a divorce. Tyrese was, you know, depressed about, you know, not being with his wife anymore. And he popped up with the new young lady, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? You separated. You got to move on. Nothing wrong with that. But I just, you know, Tyrese is an OG and I just feel like he's doing too much on Instagram. That's all. Yeah. You know what I mean? He too, I, I, yeah, meant to, sure. I actually meant to hit Tyrese. I'm going to hit him this week. So it's just like, Yo, you're doing too much. You're not one of these young boys, man. Yeah, you don't got to do all that. Like, you try, who are you trying to make jealous? Like, you're trying, to, cry yeah. next you're trying to piss off your ex or something? Yeah, like, like leave it alone. Wife, yeah, right. it's like you look, it looks, it, Tyrese is my guy. And I mean this with the utmost respect. It just looks corny. That's yeah, all. I know somebody who's doing the exact same thing, bro. Being corny, bro. Who is it? Nah, somebody. I ain't gonna throw him dirty <laughs> like that. But he definitely needed next one. If he's still acting up, I'm gonna call him out. You gonna call him out? Call him out. Stop being corny, man. She don't care. She don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> she don't care. <laughs> all right, let's do some asking idiots, man. You don't care about the Flintstones? Not Yo, Taylor, kids. if you don't Let's start go. these fucking questions. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to give you Jesus some Christ. To Just start the questions. We don't care what? about the Flintstones. Taylor, you are, Taylor's such a narcissist. Fucking A. Taylor thinks everything is about her. Respect your friends, yo. <laughs> Respect your friends, yo. Stop gaslighting your friends. Yo. Stop, at, stop, stop, stop doing things Ask to your friends an and then acting like we're the problem, okay? That's what you're doing right now. You're, right. you're doing things to your friends and then acting like we're the problem. She ain't got no respect. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's really disgusting. No respect. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Topaz wants to know, 
If you guys were a different race, do you think y'all will move differently or the same? Duh. Damn, Topaz, that's a stupid question. Yeah. That's a, duh. <laughs> like, my God, duh. Topaz. I want to know what race is Topaz. Was that a computer-generated question? No yeah. human could possibly say that shit. If I was white, I act like Schultz. If Schultz is black, he act like me. <laughs> but, how yeah, does Schultz, but how does he act, though? Because Schultz isn't like... Act like a white guy. And I'm acting like, like more privileged than I did. A lot of things Schultz could do, I cannot do. So, do you use your privilege like that for real? What? I always use my privilege for powers of good. <laughs> yes, he does. Andrew yes, Schultz does. uses privilege. Andrew, have you met him? No, I know, but I'm saying like, <laughs> do you you act out when you know you can? Like that's that's who you are. He's Andrew Schultz. No, when I'm life. saying, I'm Schultz. Stop. What I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god. Andrew acting out Schultz. We need to call him Ao. <laughs> Acting out. That's what Schultz does. Well, what I are you do, talking baby. about? Oh, what do you gosh. mean? Have you met him? <laughs> listen, Andrew, there's one day. Listen, one thing about Andrew, he's consistent. <laughs> and that's why when anybody tells me anything about Andrew, I'm like, that's Andrew. That's him, I get it. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. It could be 10 years ago whenever and people say the same thing. He's cocky. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll never, I, yo, yo I tell why people, people want time, you to be insecure so bad? I never understood that shit. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, you're I, right. I'll never forget. I'll, I laugh my ass off. I, I come in a meeting. I come in a meeting at MTV Two. I, I think this was like the first or second season of Uncommon Sense. And I'm in there with my man Paul and Darren. And he was like, yeah, Andrew was here earlier this week. <laughs> I said, word. He was like, yeah, yeah, he's down. He's down to be on the show, whatever, whatever. And he was like, Andrew sat down and Andrew said, y'all motherfuckers want to win Emmys or what? <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't, say it, he didn't say it like, do y'all motherfuckers want to win Emmys or what? Like, no, do y'all motherfuckers want to win Emmys or not? Because if you're not listening to what the fuck I'm saying, you're not winning no goddamn Emmys. I wouldn't expect right? nothing else. I wouldn't expect nothing else from Andrew. That's hey, bro. Schultz. Hey, bro. Yeah. I was right, though. We didn't win no Emmys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to do it They didn't want to win no Emmys And now neither of them are working for the fucking MTV anymore Yeah, yeah, yeah Darren, our Paul, salute to my guys Peace I'm doing, I mean, Darren got something Me and Darren got something that we'll be in Let's go, them. burn unit Nah, I fucked with both of them, man Yeah, I like but, Nah, uh, those my guys But those, yeah, those I look, guys. and look, I understand like what, what it is to make those decisions And have that responsibility You, you know, sp you know, a young fucking cocky kid comes in the room So talking some shit I understand you want to just tell him to shut the fuck up I get that, I totally get that But I did have a fire idea for us, man. I had a fire idea for us. We would just own a night of the week and That's right. It would have been really cool, but it is what it That's is. That's right. But you know, you know what though? Um, I realized something. Uh I realized that we've always been so free with it, mm. right? And um we all, we all I'm not gonna say we got it fast, because we didn't get it fast. We got it when we were supposed to get it, you know what I'm saying? But we were just we were we were freer than TV was allowing us to be at that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's almost like Andrew got game, Charlotte got game, Duval got game, Pete got game, all these people got game. But it's like when you come over here, we have to play in this system. Yep. And when we got when we got to the point where they started giving us our own shows, Schultz had two shows, Schultz had uh Jobs that don't suck, and there yeah. was another one you hosted I had on that MTV. dating what? show. The dating show, yeah. And you know, I had Charlemagne and Friends. I had Uncommon Sense. A few, you know, I had I did Uncommon Sense for three seasons. Um, so it's like we wanted to do things our way because we're we're on social media, we're on the podcast. We mm -hmm. know what's moving things out here. We know what works. Yeah, basically. They yeah. were uh, this, this this, and I'm not just speaking about those two, Paul and Darren, because you know they. They wanted to do a lot of different things. They just couldn't within that system. Yeah. And now that system is like, fuck it. We got to do things their way. Yeah. And that's just with all creatives and all talent. Because if they don't allow the creatives and the talent to do things their way, what the fuck do the creatives and the talent need to be on TV for? Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, the creators and the talents out here smoking on their own. Yeah. What do they need to be on TV for? So it's like, maybe I should listen to the creators and I should listen to the talent. And it's just it's just interesting watching the game 10 years later and how much the the landscape of everything is fucking changed, man. Yeah, there's a uh it, it is funny, man, to see it change because usually the only time that like networks and stuff are willing to risk it is when they're making insane amounts of money or mm -hmm. when they're making nothing. Like when mm -hmm. there's desperation or exuberance, you know, and uh, we were caught in the middle because we were killing it with guy code 
you know, mm-hmm. and like then Wild wow, Now came in, was killing it. So mm-hmm. they were doing really well for the size of the network. So maybe it was harder for them to take huge risks because they're like, well, we don't want to risk what we got. We got a good thing going on over here. And maybe you and I came from a place where it's just like, bet it all. Put it all on black, it put all. it all on red. Mm-hmm. Let's fucking risk the whole thing and see what happens. And uh, yeah, and it, to is, your, it is what it is. And to another point, not only the, the, the network um, isn't willing to risk it all, talent at some points isn't willing to risk it all because when you're new to something, right? Like when you first get into a space, you're like, okay, I'm in the TV world. I want to stay here. Mm. That's why we that's why we listen to the executives. That's why mm. we allow ourselves to conform. That's why we be like, okay, well, and they have been doing TV for a long time. I do want this to work. Coach. Maybe I should try it this way. But that way stifles the talent. You know what I mean? Because it's one thing if you're taking what the talent does and you know you're adding a system around it and you're maximizing that talent's, you know, talent. Mm -hmm. But when you're just a part of a system and you're doing what the system wants you to do and not playing your own game, nah, recipe for disaster. It's not recipe for disaster. Yeah. The beauty, the beauty of shit now is that the talent is is the talent don't give a fuck because the talent doesn't need it. So the talent is like, yeah, I'm. This is how we're going to do it. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. I think the most liberating part of the internet for me was I got to prove. Like, I always got to prove I was right. Like, before that, I'd have to go into these meetings and I have to find different ways to convince the decision makers to make what I thought was the right decision. And I understand understood their trepidation because a lot of the ideas that I might have come with were completely new and novel and there's no proof that they would work at all. And That's right. I bet you there's a lot of execs that, like, I had meetings with or conversations with and they wish they would have trusted me because the second I was able to go out on my own, I go put my stand up out. Seven figure stand up deal. I go make this this uh, you know rant show with my guys, and then all of a sudden, seven figure Netflix deal. Like we just keep on creating and then cashing in, creating, cashing in. So it is what it is, man. This is one of those things where like eventually you you cash in enough where you can't just go into a meeting and they're just gonna go fine, whatever you guys want to do, do it. Like That's that was right. Netflix. Literally, we we just said we want to do it like this. They were like, here's the check, have fun, bro. You are not lying. And it is the most liberating oh, the best. feeling in the world. And yeah. when people trust you, when you can walk in the room and say, yo, this this person is going to work yeah. and they trust you, yeah. Yeah. which is another reason I bust my ass when you partner with me because I like to be right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we need these things to win so we can keep bringing in more you know, deals, yeah. more people, more people, more talent, more new, more new, more new voices. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Oh, um, so for Wax, this is like two questions in one, I feel like. So Livid Impala wants to know who would you who would Wax not want to meet in the ring? Oh, I know that. And Hams <laughs> Handsomely Educated wants to know is Wax willing to cut his dreads off if he loses his fight to Jake Paul? Ooh. Yes. Whoa. Okay. I was willing to do that because I know it would be like, Jake Paul, you got to do it. <laughs> please, and, uh, please. Jake yeah. Paul. Who would I not want to see in a uh, in a ring? Ike. No, it'd be my mom. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I can't hit her back. You are annoying. And, and this real shit because you, know, you gotta understand, I played D line. You know what I'm saying? I played D in. I also went all, I always seen six, eight, six, nine, 400 pound dudes that I destroyed. So you're looking at somebody who size don't mean nothing to me at all. Somebody ag- aggressive, I feel like I, I, could, I could match anybody aggressive. Why do you think I'd be afraid to go in the ring with somebody? Only person I'm afraid of is my mom. Listen, listen, you don't have, I'm nobody, we never said that you'd be afraid. We just said, once you get in there, Jake Paul gonna do you no, dirty. Look, read the first one. Who you not want to meet in the ring? That doesn't Ike. mean you're afraid, though. I don't, what are you talking about? You can have all the confidence still fighting Mike, though. I, I, your, your mom is a good answer, though. That's yeah, your mom's only, a good I answer, dude. Back, I can't do nothing. I think you'd be scared of Ike, too, though. That's my brother. Big brother, Big Ike. Yeah, Big Ike's not to be played with, bro. Big Ike ain't no fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> not right? to be played with, bro. Wax know that. Wax don't even want to say nothing too crazy. <laughs> Ike, Ike, Ike will show up today like, oh, word? You, you think Big Brother done lost listen, it a little bit? Yeah, dude, listen, for years, <laughs> you got to respect your elders for years. You just got to know how everybody get down. And he ready. He just like me. One of my younger ones. I can't play Yeah, one of my younger ones like, yo, uncle, let's play around. My brother's like, yo, let's buy. I'm like, what you talking about? Before you even get out your mouth, I'm up. The only difference is that <laughs> um, he's not going to let Jake Paul beat him. 
Ooh. So I, you say I, I could take Jake Paul. I could take Jake Paul though. I, I probably could be Jake Paul. I, I probably could. Yeah, yeah, I could probably. Could yeah, be but Jake I, Paul. yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not worrying about it. my mama and uh, I would definitely be willing to do that. If I... Jake, the stakes have just been raised. The wax is willing to cut his dreads. Yo, Jake Paul, imagine you beating wax. Him cutting his dreads in the Instagram picture of you holding, holding wax's his dreads, dreads in both hands. Imagine that Instagram <laughs> picture, Jake. Do it for the gram, Jake. But, but the crazy thing Come about on, it, Drake. If, 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 Jake. If, 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 I, if I beat him up, it's, it's like, it's nothing. Everybody going to expect it. I expect it. Nobody what he, expects what if he, it. What if he beats you? He means you? so much if he beat me up. He what can, if he beats you, you got to cut your dreads, and then he sells your dreads to Justin Bieber, and Justin Bieber wears them. <laughs> yes. Fire. Fire. Come on, Jake Paul. <laughs> Jake, you gotta do this, Jake. <laughs> All right, come on. The stakes have just been raised. Oh, Jake. Justin Bieber would be happy as hell too. This is a lot of lift, bro. But can he pause? Put this? Lord, Lord, yo, what did he say? <laughs> Jesus, it's a lot of lift. With some, he took with... that baby, baby, baby shit too no, far. No, no, no. <laughs> dude, Peaches. He got black hair. He got black hair. Who? Who? Um. Justin. Justin Bieber. I don't know what his pubes look like, bro. Yeah, look at pubes. Wilding. All right. You know, this guy, this guy just said fields? Justin would love this length. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> crazy. He's a wild boy. A wild <laughs> ass boy, bro. All right, give us one more, Taylor. Uh, Unbelievable. Okay. Um, Porsche Stories wants to know if men got pregnant, would the world be more or less populated? <laughs> uh, probably about the same. Yeah, men are whores. Yeah, probably about the same. They'd be pregnant all no. over. Yeah, girls would be nutting in us by accident. You know what I mean? Nutting in us on purpose. And they you get away I mean? with everything, too. So imagine if the state, like, like the shit was still the way it is, the way women get away with everything, and they get to smash guys, yeah. get them pregnant, and the guy just got to be out there. No child support, nothing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's fucked up. It'd be, it'd, it'd be about the same, because it would just be on the woman. It'd be, it'd be just as many people having sex. And you know, some guys would get pregnant. That's all. But if we still had to if we still had to provide for the the baby and provide for the woman, and we still had those responsibilities, but we also got pregnant, we would all be on birth control one hundred percent. There would be no mistakes. You know what I mean? Like we would be so safe. We'd be doing the whole thing. Like we pull out five strokes before. Yeah. It, we would be on point with it. Two condoms. Like, yes. Hold on. The no... man got to get fucked too then. Oh, no, nah, we're not getting fucked. We still no, doing the fucking. No, it just goes, yeah, I don't know. Huh? Maybe, I mean, the only thing I would think is like, y'all got to trade private parts. Nah. No, no, nope. no. We nope. fuck and then the nope. egg shoots inside of our dick hole. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, so, yeah, so it got to be something like, oh. well, we got, y'all got to make us nuts. That's the hard. So it probably nah. be less because if we had to make you nut, there'd be no night. people on earth. Yes. You said and what? You know what's crazy? If that we had to make you orgasm in order to have a kid, there'd be no people on earth. Exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got to figure it out. You know what they like? They like the shower head. So you know we got to get that for them. Oh yeah, I've we just let you sit there with the shower head, head until we're shower, ready. To so as soon as they about to nut, then we put it in. <laughs> What? You know what the shower head is called? You got to get the certain one, duh. You don't get this regular shower head. Yeah, but why, I don't want no water. Like, water's not going to make me... I don't, I don't know. I'm it. a fiance. I just use vibrators. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was on the phone. That's the first thing I come back to. I just use vibrators. Salute to my, uh, my sister friend, Kendra G. You know what I mean? That's another sister friend, right? You know, um, she does radio on WGCI in Chicago. Me and Kendra... I met Kendra back in like 06, 07... Um, in LA randomly like it was so random because I've never been beat for shit like the Grammys and stuff so I had some Grammys tickets and I just randomly I don't even remember where we met she probably do and she's like man I want to go to the Grammys and I was like I got tickets and she was like you got Grammys tickets I was like I, just, I said you want them and I gave them to her and we've been super cool ever since we ended up working together we worked together in Philadelphia um, I used to work at the network at 100.3 at Radio 1 yeah at Radio 1 did we cross paths before? I don't know. I was on. They fired me after seven months. I wasn't there long. I might. I maybe six, six to seven months. I don't. Why are you so crazy? What? Cool. Never mind. What did I just do? Never mind. What happened? I used to intern there. What happened? What did, I don't know. I'm just gonna say nothing. Go ahead. I don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> either. So That's what I'm like. What? Feels like something she incriminating lived, just went. No, it does. no, because no, she li she lived next to Kobe for years, and then now she I'm saying she I worked interned. with you. There's no way you worked with me. 
I didn't, I didn't, see even, I didn't I even put two and two cro- together. Time out. I said, did we cross paths as in like just see in the hallway? Relax. Hey, you're 29 you. years old. It's working with you. I was working there in 2009. I didn't know when you left. So that's what I'm saying. I oh. know I interned. Relax, yo. Relax. How old, how old were you in 2009? Um, 34. I'm 14. <laughs> 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 you were 14, Taylor. I didn't so hear crazy. you That's say, what I said. Oh, excuse sorry, me. I said, fault, I did not fault. know when you left. Like, oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. You, Even if he was there for you, two years, y'all realize still, that y'all no. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Taylor. He's been in breakfast about? club for like about? a year. You work with Kendra? You didn't work with Kendra Yes, either. I did. You did? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, the fuck? Thank you for bringing up that. Y'all realize that I don't bring it up though, right? Y'all do. What? You want Kobe? I realize that y'all envy it, so thank you. Nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. The lie is Taylor used to live next to Kobe. That's not no lie. Yeah, okay. We'll run with it. God bless the Kobe. Play the Luke and Kobe. Salute to Kobe's family. Always sending Kobe's family healing energy. You know. Did Kobe ever see you run? Taylor. You ran track, okay. right? I met him when I was a baby, yo. Like, I was now five years old. So how you remember? I thought I said I was 14 or nothing. How do you, remember? How do you know it was Kobe, Defended. not just some other kid? Exactly. That was tall and played basketball. Exactly. Y'all are haters, yo. His name was Kobe. Y'all are okay? haters. It was Kobe. Kobe uh, Brunson so used to live next to you. <laughs> and they told you, for some reason, you think it's Kobe Bryant just because it's Lowell Marion. You never met Kobe. You never met Kobe, yo. Her mom even told me that. Her mom no, like, she that's did not. not. Her mom she actually. This what her you, mom said. Up? Her mom said, "I knew Kobe, but she never met him. She didn't You're know him. That's a liar. Yeah. And nah, then she bought in some picture with some little boy and Kobe and told us it was her because you know when kids are young, you can't really tell the yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Alike. They really? all short and chubby, so you don't know. I- <laughs> How old was the, the little boy in that is picture? So rude, man. <laughs> First of all, my brother. Exactly. He- so whoever that young man was, she said was her brother, but it wasn't her. What did? The what? picture of you and Kobe. I have the picture right here. No oh, way. God. Okay. Hey, before we go, salute the Wheezy too, man. Salute the Wheezy. Wheezy's new show, Sex Sales. When does Sex Sales start, Alex? Uh, June 7th. June 7th. Uh, it's going to be on Fuse TV. What's the night? And I think it's uh, Monday night. I think so, yeah. Monday. Yep. I don't remember the time, but it's Monday night, uh, June 7th 11 on Fuse PM. TV. 11 p.m.? Yep. 11 p.m. Uh, I'm, I'm on. I'm on one episode. I'm on the episode. Well, I don't know if she wants me to say, so I won't say. But I'm on. I'm on one of the episodes. Um, salute to Weezy. Weezy really out here hustling. She really doing her thing. Um, and we're sitting in uh one of her ventures right now. Her and Alex's studio, WTF Media. That's where we do the broadcast. So if you want to uh come where the brilliant idiots records their podcast and where uh Kaz and um uh, low key. Record Say Less. What is it? Say Less Now? Yeah. Or is it just yeah. Say Less? Say, say less, less with Kaz, Low Key, and Rosie. Say Less with Kaz, Low Key, and Rosie. And uh, where Wayno records his podcast and where Horrible Decisions records, WTF Media. What's the website, E? WTFmediastudios.com. There you go. WTFmediastudios.com. So, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>